A lovely sniff to welcome you back. <laughs> Hello. So the Yost Cast Jingle Jam 2017. Um, it is Tuesday, the 19th of December. We've done 19 days oh, of streaming. Not us. No, you've probably done like 28. No, no I've done. No, right? I've done. I've done a bit. A bit. Um, didn't sleep very well last night. Felt a little bit rough. Ooh. Worried I was getting a bit flu. But this morning, feeling way better. Had oh. a vitamin C. Went to sleep. Mm -hmm. Rested up. Ready to play some weird games. Bundle games. Man, actually, I have had a blast playing these weird games with the bundle. I think like this is something which you you do anyway, right? In terms of a little bit. I play a lot of weird games to test them for like to test them. Game Goblin and yeah, and see if maybe we could do something on the main channel or for anyone really. If an interesting game comes out, I'll check it out and then email it off to people and say, yeah. check out this game, and then they don't. It's it's a really Fulfilling job. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I find some really good ones, mm. but usually not. No. So I feel like I feel like we're this is something that which we do naturally anyway. Oh, Kieran's Kieran's, Kieran's here. He's, He's installing in. Photoshop for the Fighting Fantasy. Are you are you excited for the Fighting Fantasy stream with me and Simon this afternoon, Kieran? Uh. He said, he said sort, sort of. of. Um, he's just he's gonna excited. Be here, don't worry. To we don't need to him do on camera, Steve. He's not ready. He's not had his makeup done. And stuff. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Your cast, uh, the stream setup is very long-winded. Okay, we mm. come in. Uh, they they do they do makeup. They do hair. They they like whiten our teeth. Uh, do they, they? They dress oh, us. No. They wardrobe. Um, I didn't get any of that. They 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 yeah they mm -hmm. they give you a little. A little spoonful of cocaine up each nostril. A whole spoon up each nose. And um, 
Yeah, they went good together. We get our massage. Oh yeah, sorry. And, no. and then the happy ending. A massage. And, and happy then ending. And the happy a nice ending. little thirty-minute rest before Here's we. A cup uh, of tea. <laughs> 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 and then we uh, get sh- yeah thirty-minute rest, uh, rub down, hot stones, aromatherapy. Mm. We have a little shower just to, to calm yep. down after that. Then then we're a bit back too relaxed. Back into makeup so ba- after that. Back on the coke after that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a process. It's why no. we don't start till 11. Literally what happens we, is... We get into the office at 6. I rolled out of bed about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> I had a shower. I tidied my house in for about 15 minutes because only my cleaner was coming. And when your cleaner comes, if you have a cleaner, mm. you know you have to spend a long time cleaning your house before no. the cleaner comes. You can't... The, it's embarrassing. The day before the cleaner comes, I, well, I don't have a cleaner. On the but if I did, I would just go, oh, man, the cleaner's coming tomorrow. I won't wash this up. Blam. Not my job. I don't think that's how it works. I did all the washing up. <laughs> I, I cleaned up. I put some washing on. The house well, was basically clean. Can I be your cleaner, please, Lewis? <laughs> I I can, having a cleaner <laughs> makes me clean the house. It's good. But then she does all the stuff that I don't do, though. So, like, like cleaning the like, windows. When was the last time you cleaned your windows? Yeah, exactly. Point. Never. They're probably filthy from all the dog licking nah. them and the baby licking them and you licking them. Yeah. House full of window Well, I know because the baby cleans the dog's licks and then I clean the baby's licks. Lisa cleans my licks and then the dog cleans Lisa's licks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the circle of licking. <laughs> no. So I ran in because I was running late. Mm-hmm. So I'm a little bit out of breath. I grabbed an mm-hmm. apple. Mm-hmm. Um, I talked for about 30 seconds to... Um, I think it was Python GB, one of the nice Terraria boys who oh, was, was streaming on the, the stream last night. night. That was great. Yeah, they were really nice guys. They were really wholesome, fun, fun friendly guys. And I think after they finished their stream, they went out clubbing. <laughs> so, well, actually, I'm not sure all of them went out clubbing, but <laughs> I know some of them may have done uh, because it's 11 a.m. and uh, Python was in there being like, just waiting for, oh. <laughs> waiting for them to turn up. I think so they're a bit hungover. Right. <laughs> Um, no, so yeah, came in, talked to him very politely for less time than I've spoken to you about talking to him, and um, I have an apple, and Perfect. then Ben was here. I was already what here. What was your morning? My morning was very different. I was up at six. Oh, fuck. As per usual. So five and a quarter hours ago, um, as opposed to 45 minutes ago. Took care of Babby, fed it, cleaned it, changed it, and, and then shipped him off with his mum. They were going out today at nine. And then I was like, oh, I don't have to be until 11. I've got two hours. It's going to take me about 45 minutes to get in. I've got time for a quick There Are Billions game. Mm. And it almost made me late because I got further than I'd ever got before. Okay. But I had to, well, I was about to shut it down and then the game just killed me anyway. So it knew, it knew I had to be in for the stream and just murdered me. It does that. It's a punishing game. Yeah. I haven't got very far. I'm not very good at it. Sorry, right. You did learn you could pause it, right? Yes. Still not very good. I always try to... I, I get too greedy. It's just like our Dungeon of the Endless mm. problem. I think, you know what? Every time um, I'm oh. like, okay, okay, I think I can grow now. Oh, and I, I push that. out and I try to claim more land. And as I'm pushing out and claiming more land, I'm building buildings to not waste time with my little force moving forwards until I can hit the point where I can build the wall to t- fence in my new buildings. And every time I do that, um, a big wave hits the other side of the base and my force has to double back. Run through the whole base. And then... But then I've left my new expansion open because I haven't completed the wall yet because I got too greedy and I wanted it really big. Oh, God. And then the whole expansion falls and then my troops, by the time they get to where the, the wave is, like those walls are falling down and it's just a disaster. I need to be... I need to be less greedy. Less greedy. Not less greedy. Well, that's, the problem. that's what happens in They Are Billions. Um, I've tried to play it on stream if you guys saw that. It's oh, not in you? the bundle. It's um, not in the bundle. But uh, I tried to play it on the stream. I left a tiny one tile gap, which I didn't realize was there. So just one lone zombie sort of wandered in and got into your tent. Yes. And Fuck! Then, uh, they just get out of control so quickly once they hit the tents. Yeah. Like, Fuck. I need to, yeah, it needs to be better. I haven't really thought too strong about it. Can you like, I mean, is it worth like knocking down tents and replacing them with like the higher tier? Yeah, well, no, you can upgrade them. You don't have to knock them down. You can upgrade them. All oh, right, mm. okay. Upgrade them to cost I haven't got that far. I think I was just searching cottages when that happened. Uh, but I think if they get into your cottages, that's even worse. It's like zombie in a suburbia. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like small town zombie They, they have a little bit more armour, though. They can take... The zombie doesn't get straight into the house, so he has right. to like, knock on the door for a bit and break a window. Which I probably wouldn't have noticed anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, true. 
Oh my gosh, we did oh. we did a great job, everyone. Um, you need to check that. Have you not? Even, wow, you you slept in so much. You haven't even checked Reddit yet today. I was just checking Reddit. No, I've just seen a picture of me and um, a monkey. <laughs> sure. Is that flipping what's his gorgeous George or gorgeous whatever? Gorgeous George, yeah. The original Yorks cast George. Ma'am, well, look at that picture of me. Can we get that up, Steve? Can we get my screen up, Steve? Just to just to show what I'm looking at that was posted on the Reddit today. Um, well, nine hours ago, last <laughs> night. Me. Let's have the donation. Young me. Look how gorgeous look how I am. Young, young you are. Look at you with your glasses. A young... A young babby. It was a simpler time. Man. Before we had the makeup artists and the, the masseurs. Yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> Just, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. George of the uh, Jungle, I so guess. So what is this? Were you like a theme park or something? I think we were at some sort of theme park, yes. <laughs> you don't even remember, do Possibly. You? Possibly Universal Studios. Possibly... Possibly, oh yeah, look, there's, um, what's that? Yeah, it must be Universal Studios in LA. Because I've got like a pass, a VIP pass. Ah, because you are very much a They're not VIP. actually too bad though, so they're like 100 bucks or something for a VIP pass. Do you get pass. to skip keys? Mm. We'll make a game on Twist as well. I don't think I would have normally played that. No. Oh man, is that when you find out that like 90%, 90% of people have just uh, also bought the pass? And so the queues are not any Surprisingly at not. All. Like, actually, it wasn't too bad. I think they only sell a limited amount. You have to, like, ah, okay. Them. That makes more sense. Because it yeah. kind of devalues it if everyone's got one, doesn't so it? So I don't think we could... I don't think we bought... We got given... Maybe we bought... Oh, I can't remember. Those are the days. Oh. Mm. So I've been playing a lot of this lately. Opus Magnum. Oh, yeah. It's um, from the new... I played 11 hours over the weekend. It's not in the bundle. <laughs> um. <laughs> of course it's not. Um... But it's obviously on my list. I was just looking because we've done. Radders came in last with me on um, Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you were supposed to be here, but you forgot. Um, yeah, I thought I was in, in it too. Sorry. And we went and did a bunch of games. We did Scrap <coughs> Garden, which mm -hmm. was good. We did Scanner Sombra, which was really cool, actually. Really yeah, cool game. Yeah, it looks interesting. Really colourful, like just really cool game. Yeah, I was looking forward to trying that one. Um, Tilt again, good fun. She completed. She was like a ninja. Ancient Planet was actually pretty cool. It was like a tower defense. Mm -hmm. uh, Gurgle Moth is like an arena brawler. And Toy Odyssey is like a platformer. So yeah, we went through and we did those on Sunday. So we cracked through a bunch of the bundle games. Yeah. We've got a bunch more to do. Uh, I need to probably <laughs> redeem some, but we've also got some <coughs> some of the older ones. Oh God. Okay. You're allergic to bundle games. So there's like a <laughs> it's cat just in too the much quality gaming. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that good. Some of them were pretty bad, but... Um, no, but you're not going to name the names. Because they were generously donated for charity. You can tell which ones are bad. Um, let me show you this. So, this is like, hopefully, if I can. Oh, you were can, talking to me about this last night. If I could download it. You've, have, have you ever played like Space Chem? No. Oh. Well, you will know nothing about this then. It's basically <laughs> like a kind of um, puzzle game. Yeah. Only, it's made by these guys, Zactronics, who basically they made a coding game. I mm -hmm. think it's called like Shenzhen IO. Okay. So, like, for example, I, this is not a great solution. Um,. This is not one of my proudest ones, okay? But basically, what you do is you start with like a, a, a you, sorry, you start with reagents, mm -hmm. okay? In this case, the reagents. Oh no, you st this is the reagent. Okay, a, a reagents like fancy chemist talk for ingredients. Yes. <laughs> right. So you start with reagent, and okay. then this reagent has got loads of things stuck to it, right? right. And I have to um, break this up. Okay. using these tools here, which are like breakage glyphs. Mm -hmm. So if I can use a little grabby arm mm -hmm. to like, you know, grab this, and then okay. they code it to pick up, right? And then they code it to spin, it will grab that and spin it. Ah, okay, okay right, right. Um, so, so you're making like a little like convertible so I, production. So I want to grab this and spin it into there, and then it will break that, that bond, you see? Right. It's breaking that bond break now. It. Yep. But so then I need to break that well. bond and that bond and that bond and all the bonds and right. put them in the and then I then but basically now that one's broken, okay. Mm -hmm. I can then let's say I uh, spin it again. Let's just code this again, right? So do you want to start a new level? Because this is going to get confusing, right? Yeah, sure. I'll start a new level. Basically, let me just show you how this one is done. Um, so I've finished this one, mm -hmm. but basically it grabs the whole thing, mm -hmm. spins it round, breaks it, takes a bit off, breaks a bit more off, moves over uh... there, breaks a bit off breaks it up slowly and like moves it all together and then finally there you go, we're done. 
Okay, and then it grabs another one. It has, so it has to start again. So it's like a machine that, that works. Right. And you have, to okay. sh you have to kind of take your hands off and let it do it on its own. It has yeah. to be like a thing that just does it. Can so you like you put it on fast forward? No, it just does it automatically. Like I'm not changing it. I'm so... But can you like turn the speed up? This is as fast as it needs to be. Okay. Just so you can see what's going on. So yeah, I, like, you take this big molecule, you break it down, blah, blah, blah. Okay, done. Um, so yeah, let's take on the next. So it's got like a kind of story. And so you're making stuff like purified gold from lead. Okay. It's got a little bit of story. Mm -hmm. This is not in the bundle. Uh, <laughs> just FYI. Um, and then I've, mo I've got my gold out of lead. What? Okay. That's witchcraft. I know. Alchemy. So I can use this thing which combines... Do not approve. Two, two things. So it leads at the bottom here. So you can either right. use Quicksilver to promote it once. Yeah. Right, or you can combine two things together of the same to get to one higher. So in this case... Well, so I'm, you just push more lead together and it becomes mercury. Basically, this yes. This isn't real chemistry. It was not chemistry, it's <laughs> alchemy. <laughs> right, okay. So if I put those in there, they will combine into... Oop. Oh, or will they? I've forgotten how this works. So two atoms of the same metal into a single atom with their next higher form. Oh, I have to drop them. If you drop them both into... Oh, right. All right, okay, so there you go. So now uh, there's one there. Okay. Now what I kind of want to do is save on every every everything I put down. So if I'm now if I'm now taking this one here and I'm mm -hmm. putting them... So basically what I could do is... This would be a very slow process. You could build a pyramid, couldn't you? If I build it, yeah. With like 10 lead at the bottom, pushing up into like five mercury, pushing up into like three. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So there's, yeah, so now you're thinking of ideas to yeah. do this, okay? But that seems very big and inefficient. Well, no, it's fine because it's probably going to be very quick. Mm -hmm. So there's three ways to play in this, and they all give you. At the end of oh, the level, you power and aggression. Basically, yeah. So <laughs> right. you can either build something that's incredibly small yeah. with with hardly any area, and mm -hmm. that's like a good thing to do. You can you can try and you, as long as you as long as it works, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but you okay. get points for doing it. You don't like, really get points either. It's oh, like okay. you just you, have, like you just have to puzzle your way through it. But if you build something that's, you can build different things like different mm -hmm. ways. Like so, I tend to build just whatever comes into my head at the time. I don't really care whether it's fast or quick or what. I just think, okay, so so your idea is the pyramid idea. Mm. Now this idea is going to be almost guaranteed to be incredibly slow. Yes, very slow and very big. Okay, so... Just like me. I mean, <laughs> what we can do is here, we can kind of... We can, we can speed this up potentially by having more grabbers putting stuff into the initial one. Okay. See what I mean? So I can, I can, if I get more grabbers, I can be quicker at the bottom because I feel like this is going to take a while. Um, so I'm already doing weird stuff here, but um, set that, pick up, go this way, reset that, set that. So okay, now I need to move these two like down a bit. Okay, that's that's wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay, I need to rechange that. Okay, so now they're that that's wrong as well, but. Right, so, so now they're going to go... Oh now now I'm going to fill it up twice as fast, yeah. right? So then I can probably have this thing... And then you need more grabbers, like, unloading. Right? I can have two grabbers, like, unloading. Do you see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. so then, then this can... So now I'm getting complicated immediately. Is this any any better than just having two of them? I don't know what you mean. No, but it's just quick. It's quicker. Yeah. It's not necessary. No, it's just quicker. No, I'm just saying, is it quicker than having two? Um, yes, it will, it'll be twice as quick, surely, because one because having... they'll be able to overlap. It, it, it will save us some some speed. Okay. If we want to get if we want to go with the speed, but again, like let's not go with the speed. Let's let's just try not. Let's, let's just, but watch if we well, do it. Well, I'm just curious. It, if you've we got do like it your grabbers. way, if you do it your way, it's gonna have to. We're gonna have to. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> okay. But this is maybe why we've got two of these, two more of these, so we can build a second one of these. You see what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Yeah. So we've actually, because we've started with enough reagents, we can start, we can start slightly. Um, yeah. So, so we send this one into this. So we, yeah. It's up to us how we want to do. Well, it. you don't I mean, any way you like. Well, I mean, uh, you're already like thinking what 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 what's like the best way to do it. But are we limited on all our like components? Mm, 
Not really, no, you can kind of, like, there's, there's a limit, but, like, I've never reached it. So now we've got two guys making this thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so we want to probably have two of these grabby hands um, moving these into the right places. Okay. Uh, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that actually needs to be able to grab. I guess it's not counting the... It doesn't come out immediately, so... Right. Okay, so there you go. So now I've got this mm -hmm. coming out. And now I need to use two of those to make one of these, two of those to make one of these, two of those to make one of these. So this is when the process is going to slow down a lot. Yeah. Right? And I have to decide whether I want to use more of these, which is costing me every, if one of these is costing me more oh. mats and space. Yeah. Or whether I want to try and reuse these areas I've already used. You see what I mean? Well, how much do like grabby arms cost compared to everything else? Well, grabby arms are only 20. Mm -hmm. Grabby arms that have extenders on, which you can kind of extend them back and forth or more. Right. They're twice as much. Um, pistons. They're, they're pretty useful. You can also build tracks where people, where like you can have like uh, grabby arms Go, oh, go and tracks. like move along the tracks. Little robo grabby arms, um, which is pretty handy. It's cool. So you can like have them go like along along the track or do, 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 like that and take stuff. Um, hmm. So sorry, I didn't, I've got okay. Well, wrong, I think you were onto something. The with wrong your, orders. I didn't realize we only had four ingredients, so we can't build a super pyramid. Yeah. Don't have enough Steve, do you want to be able to show my screen for Ben so he doesn't have oh, yeah, to keep leading sense. round? Um, Pop it onto my monitor. I assume that Steve is, is vaguely aware of that. It's just that, yeah, it's just that, that the screen that we have, the talkback screen, is very far away <laughs> and therefore very awkward to see. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll get um, that sorted out. Yeah, if, if this is the limit to the, the lead we have, then we can't build the mega pyramid. We'll, we'll have to do the turbo grabby arm double speed method. Well, remember, we can always. Um, put this 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 can always feed back in i mean Thanks, you, we could always conceivably just have it, we could we could work it we could do this whole thing in one what one, we could do this whole thing in one space well we? that's true it would be very slow though right yeah it would be very slow but <coughs> it would or, or would can we do it in one space let's find out all right so okay so this has to then these has to these have to then um feed back into the previous space, right? Seven and eight. Uh, sorry, eight and nine. Let's just delete this one. Um, so this has then got to grab that. Oh, okay, this is, this is a bit tough. There's, there's a it's little bit a of a There's a bit of a timing issue here, isn't there? You've got to like work out. Okay, so the, so eight, so what we have to do is we have to, we can repeat orders, mm -hmm. right? So we need to repeat these orders. So we need to keep feeding in these dudes. Um, oh, this is, this is going to be tough. All right. Let's see how many we need to feed in. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, the problem is the, feed, the inputs are faster than the output because they're closer. Right? Because the inputs only have to move one hex. But the outputs are moving two hexes. Yeah. So this is fine currently. That then picks that up and delivers it there. But we don't want to do that yet because... Oh, I see. Uh, we've got a problem here. And that's that we need to make that second one on this. So we need to move this out of the way. Okay, so now, now we start seeing flaws in our design. Yeah. Okay, so my, my original design was that I thought that what we could do is we could just make the second one here. Mm -hmm. and just, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take that second one off like that, yeah. have the second one, then have them come both back round both to get the next one and take that off. But then I'm going to start building up like a stockpile of yeah. the wrong ones in the wrong place. Um, so it's going to be like that stupid game where you have those, that, 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 that grid where it's like one, two, four, eight, and you have to combine them. What? And it gets harder and harder based on 2048, it's called, I think, oh, okay. according to Steve. I'm not familiar. Uh, hmm. Oh, you can just store them like in the middle of nowhere. I'm just storing it there. Yeah. Okay, I it's didn't know you could not, do that. It's not a good idea, but it's what we're Gets going. It's out with. of the way, I guess. I mean, can't we just have another combiner above? Where we? You see, what I mean, now I've made two. Yeah. 
Oh, I see, I see. We just have another can, combiner where we can make them into the next I one. I can just have it as a stack. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I don't have to worry about that. I can just just do that. And then the same thing, an eight can just take another one off. Put um, it into the other hopper. Yeah. All right, I don't know where that quite needs to be, but it doesn't really matter because at the top here it's pretty slow. Okay, it's oh, it didn't slightly, grab. It's slightly too slow. That's, I had it slightly too early in the, in the order. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Just see what I mean? And then I, I guess, then again, I can have another one up, like you said. Like well, it's another like one it's a up, giant mega pyramid. It, it basically is. <laughs> um, it, there's probably a better way of doing this. <laughs> do, you, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's the great thing about this game, though. It's like, you've got this, we've got this terribly dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually fun. I mean, I can save on grabby by having this here, and this just move one and then move the other. See what I mean? Okay, so yeah. So it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need two don't grabby need two. Yeah. Whereas we put two on this. See, as we as we see our design in action, we're like, okay, this 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 can be simplified by yeah. uh, grabbing, rotate twice. But then you have to code it slightly bit more complicated. Yeah. Rotate back twice. Um, Pick up, and every every up. layer we put on this pyramid, we're going to have to code the arms again. We're going to have to keep repeating the arms because yeah. uh, at a certain point, the 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 the, they, they, the machine gets backed up. Yeah, because it's not following its orders properly. Mm. So I need to know how many of these I need. So I need like okay, so I need that's enough of that. Right, so it's getting there. How, how am I at? I'm at still gold copper. I oh just need God. to get all the way up to, to gold with this stupid machine. Um, how, is there another way of combining, not combining, but making a higher grade material? No, no. This is the only way to make gold out of lead. So this game is called Opus Magnum. Um, my head exploded, so someone in chat. Uh, I know how you feel. Okay, let's let's just keep repeating this over and over again. Um, one, two, four, and five. So this is one, two, four, and five are. Let's just kind of move three down. Yeah. So one, two, three, and four are my initial ones at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I just need to repeat those as many times as is necessary. Yeah. They just that's their job. Feed in the lead. I feel like I feel like they they could just repeat ad ad nauseum. I mean, do we need them on? Like, it feels like they're working much faster than everything else. I think they have to work very. F they have to be the fastest, though. Do you see what I mean? Because they are the bottleneck. Because we need eight of them for every four of these, for every yeah, two of these for every one of that. But they are low. Basically, we are making quicksilver faster than we're using it. We're making what faster than we're using it? This stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, in that case, do we need? Do we need to speed up five and six somehow? Excuse me. That's where we're getting stuck. Because we're trying to make, because lead's going into where there's already lead because we haven't moved the quicksilver. Well, that's because I haven't repeated this yet. Though. Oh, I see. Right. I just haven't I haven't coded that in, so that should now repeat. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it worked. See, oh. that's now fine up until up until the point where it so starts to, to go slightly repeat, too yeah. fast. Yes, it's, it, that's that, that's where it goes slightly too fast. But I can again, like I could just delay this one a little bit. I think we have got a problem with the placement because five has five and six have to move two hexes. Well, yes. Um, with one, two, three, and four, are only moving one hex. Well, the way you can solve that is via like having these these arms be longer. Do you see what I mean? And when so that, that takes the same speed further. to swing. But that means they can travel further. Yeah, but but we can't build these two things too close together, can we? Well, I mean, I mean, uh, okay, we, we've can. gone too far down this rabbit hole. <laughs> so stop now. Yeah. So that's the part of the problem with this game. <laughs> that you, if you I, you're like me and you see a problem and you're like, I want to start again. Yeah, I want to start but again. I'm I not going to start again because you've put too much work in. Because now. this thing almost works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to fudge my way through it. Then <laughs> this uh, 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 it gets to a point where you're you've done a bad mm. design, but you're like, well, I'm going to see it through. Right. Gonna make the bonkers reverse funnel system. Work. Yeah, and it's gonna be quite quick because because that's the way it is. I mean, we could do it in a much slower, more. There's probably an automated way where you can just, but 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 because you keep needing the extra one, mm. I think probably what we need to do, okay, is have it have it be like, okay, look, 
bear in mind, I think I think the way it needs to go is like the one on the right, mm -hmm. uh, like this one here, can always be going up to, into the next one. Okay. Yes. Do you see what I mean? But this one is a lot faster because this one needs more filling. So you need to move yeah. this one to here, this this one to to here. Do you see what I mean? We can go up up like up in a chain like this. Yeah. And this is the this is the big one. And so it basically goes in a long chain. Yeah. But this side is is faster and and fills up faster. Do you mean so we fill up this layer in well, we here? We can't have like a lopsided machine that's that fast on one side and there. slow on the other, can we? That's not going to work. Mm. All right. So hang on, let me see if see, see now it's like now it's like all gumming up. I'm kind of like a bit frustrated with the design. It, it works to the, this point. I think it's just this gap here. We've got here. That's where the problem is. What well, you just don't you just don't like this gap. Well, it's not that I don't like it. It just means that the arms are all out of sync because they're moving different distances. Oh, I we see. We need to make it so that each arm only ever has to move one hex, and then they'll never bump into each other because they're all taking the same amount of time to do stuff. Right. Okay. Well, I can probably do that if I do it like this. Um, something like this, anyway. Something like. It's not quite right, is it? But I can, okay, I can change this to here, this to here, this to here. And then I can move all this slightly closer. And that should, that should work. And then we can just drop. Do you see what I mean? What? Now they're not going two, they're going one instead. Why have you put a bigger gap in? It's not a bigger gap, it's the same speed. It's just further. Are you sure? Yeah, look, watch. Okay. Yeah, this is synchronized. It is synchronized now. You got it. You did it. I just need to readjust these back to their original design. But I think, I think in fact, this is going to be probably too quick. Maybe. No. Yeah. Okay. So that is now. That is now. That is now. That's, that's perfect. Okay. Cool. Right. So that that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but. This is all going to be too fast, right? Why? Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's just going to. This is just going to slow down now, massively. Yeah, because now we don't have double the. Because um, ideally, we should have one. What we've built, we should have one of these copied a whole again every time we put another layer on. But we don't have enough um, base ingredients, do we, to do that? No. So we want to go. So this this should be here, like this, I think. Right. So seven and eight. Seven and eight are the, the second tier, so they need to be slightly quicker now because we've got this going quicker. That's fine. Okay, so we just need to repeat this here, and this here, and this here. All right, so that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. So seven and eight are working nice. And nine is working, I think, fast enough for our purposes. Yeah, but now this is where the whole thing starts to slow down a lot. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? Yes. It like it's going to be painfully slow from this point on. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's any way we can do that other than putting our feed in much faster. You see I mean? So this is this is why when I first started the level, I knew that we'd come across this problem of this yeah. being the slowest problem. Yeah, yeah. And so that's why I built the extra grabby arms to double fast the, the H she's in. Yeah. You can we mean? can we make them even faster? No. This is the this is the speed limit. Are you sure? Because like. There's a good couple of seconds there where things come out and it's not been moved. Can we get another arm? I mean, that does involve kind of rebuilding this area to, to make more use of... Do you see what I mean? I, yeah. I'd have to... If I put this H here, and then I could have two... So if I put if I swap these round, I could have two putting into there. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And that would work. Um, but then how do I put two into this one? Well, I'd have to probably... Have to space it all out more. Move this here... Have this go here. And then I need to code in all of those with all the repeats as well. Yeah, it sounds like a nightmare. Do you want me to do that? You do it any way you like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> okay. That is that looks like a that looks like hell on earth. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of these extra ones and replace. Right. Which way did it which oh, ones no, did I fuck? Fuck. I think, I think this one was here, right? Was it? No, it wasn't. No. It was there originally. And this one was must have been here like this. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that's all working. Uh, all right, this I'm making gonna make lead into gold, guys. This is what this game is about, and it's not easy. If ever you've tried to make lead into gold, you <laughs> realise that in fact it takes a lot of grabby arms. <laughs> it takes a surprising number of, of grabbing and arms. Um, so I, I can pretty much just copy the nine design for this, but it needs to be at a point where this has gone all the way down. So nine needs to go there, nine needs to go there, and then we're on to ten. So ten can grab here and spin, spin. So it's all hot keyed up, right? Okay. Spin, spin, um, and then I guess then we, yeah, so then we go back, we pick up, we repeat, and we repeat forever. What made people think back in the day that they could turn lead into gold? Like, what sparked off the whole alchemy craze? Well, because lead and gold are very similar in weight, or, or at least like density. Well, they're not. No, not density, as in elemental weight. Oh, I see. Right, okay. People thought that if the, if if they could figure out a way, just add an electron or whatever. It, it was, was very naive. Different. Honestly, like people thought people were. Th People were thinking they were able to make elemental changes, and if they could, they'd be able, they'd be onto a, a winner. You know? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, well, you can combine what two heliums to make a hydrogen, or is it the way around? I get mixed up. You can combine two hydrogens to make a helium, yeah, in yeah. a sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so two of the most simple elements ever, <laughs> <laughs> under very intense conditions, can be can be put together. So they thought they could do that in their lab with with gold. Yes. Which sadly, but what got them to that point? Because like, cannot. they weren't obviously that good at. They didn't know everything we know now. Can be done with science. With science. Well, of course you can, Steve. If you want to do nuclear, nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. I mean, you can. We can. Elemental, which chemistry can be done. You know, but lead into gold. I think the lead into gold very specifically is actually very difficult to do. For example, you could just bombard like like lead up. You could just get some lead, right? Mm -hmm. And bombard it with neutrons until it gets heavier. Yeah. And then it will change element. So yeah. that's how they make plutonium from uranium, for example. Okay. Um, whoa, whoa, don't tell it don't tell the Koreans that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's state secrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Um, See, it, I've got I've repeated these the, the nine too early, and this is actually really hard. It's actually a really hard level. I'm sure like people are watching thinking I've got a really good idea of how to do this. So I th I've got an idea, but I don't think it's any better than what we're doing now. What's That's your idea? It's just involves spacing everything out a lot more and having um, basically two different pyramids. Um, basically that come together. That come together at the top. So instead, rather than like trying to double time everything from the bottom, you just have two separate bottoms feeding up until they get to the top. Can you re please say bottom a few more times? Bottom. Of course. God, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> um, okay, I think we're actually almost done because that's gold here. And so watch. See, that's that's the copper. That's the silver. That grabs that. And that is the gold. So I just need to pick up the gold and deliver it to its... Into my mouth. Into oh. my awaiting mouth. All right, let's give this a go. So, uh, that You're goes there, it. that goes there. You're only going and fucking doing it. Hey, do we make a gold? I did make a gold. One gold! However, I just need to make sure everything else resets itself. How um, how many golds do we need to make? Let's just, let's just do some reset orders on the end. Surely just making one is enough, right? Then they know proof of concept, right? Yeah, you, you'd think so. So basically, at the, end of, at the end of it, I'm just telling every arm to go back to where it was before. But I think at the moment I'm in a situation where I've got a few too many operations. No. 
See, there you go. There's, there's a couple of too many operations down this end. So I think I've got slightly too many of these being done. Let's find out. The clang. Yeah, the, the, the clanging lets you know when you fucked up. I could just count, but I prefer to just do it by, by literally the laziest guesswork of all time. Watching it and then fudging it a bit. Yeah. Uh, so I've got one so too eight, many. Eight doesn't go when eight should go. I've got one too many of these, I think, being made. I'm going to read some donations while you get into the nitty gritty. Um, Cloudwolf donated $10 at the start of the stream and says, what you guys do every year is wonderful. Thank you for all the entertainment. Here's to another great year. Thank you, Cloud Wolf. Good on you. Agent Er donated $35 and said, I like games. Well, you've got plenty to keep you busy now. Got all the games. Anonymous donated and says, You're late. Um, were we late? Were we late? I, was, I wasn't late. I was we sat here late. like 10 to 11. Um, Alex donated and said, Guys, keep up the great work. I think this is a gift from my dad to get him involved in some cool games. If you could please say Merry Christmas and belated birthday to Michael. That would be amazing. Happy Christmas, Michael. I'm sorry Alex uh, forgot your birthday and told us way too late. Um, I hope you had a good one. Boom. Thank you. Uh, Joe Hart. There we go. We did it. Hmm? It's wait, we've oh, got some wasted quicker. cycles in here. If you sped it up. So there you go. As you oh, can okay, there's a so there you go. Yeah, it's working. Look, so yeah. the lead gets turned into tin, yeah. which gets turned into copper, which gets turned into whatever this silver? is, which gets turned into silver, which gets turned into finally gold, and it comes out. Hooray! See, this is not efficient because look, sometimes the, the gravity arms are just moving nothing. Moving nothing, yeah. Right, and so there's a lot of dead cycles in here. Yeah, but but that's all right. I've done it. So cost-wise, I was actually one of the cheapest, cheaper oh. than cheaper than average. So, is this all other players' results? Yeah, so other players who've done this, most oh. of them use more expensive machinery than I have. I was on the very cheapest side, surprisingly. Very cool. Uh, cycles, however, you had loads. most people do it quicker than I do. But if I, th I think if I trimmed off those, yeah, you could I would probably be in, get, the, I'd be in the better average. area. Yeah. Area, space use, again, pretty good. And I we had a whole bunch of machines that we put down big. as examples and then never deleted. Oh, oh yeah, I could probably um, tidy that up. Is it just that one? I thought there was a whole bunch more. Did you get rid no, of it? No, I got rid of it. Oh, okay, just that one bit. So if I, if I got rid of some of the extra mm -hmm. movements, which I think are like, I think it's like it's this bit's extra, this bit's extra. This might make me a bit up the... But then again, like, oh, yeah. the design is not super fantastic. You know, it could be... Well, you know what, man? It, it works. It could be better. But it, we, we, we made lead... Into gold. gold. So that's it. We can retire. We're billionaires now, right? Or is the price of lead just going to shoot up? Because uh, everyone's using it to make gold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lead's now really expensive. <laughs> and also right. gold's not really worth as much. Yeah, because we flooded the market. Because you can easily convert. I think, in <laughs> fact, the way it works is... Well, how many is it? Like, So we need two silver. We need four copper. Hang on, let's just... Oh, yeah. We need... Two silver, four copper, eight iron, 16 tin, 32 lead. So the price of one gold should be... Same as 32, 32 lead. lead. That's how it's worked out. So that's the same thing with silver and gold, usually. Right? Oh, really? So silver in the Earth's core, hmm. in the Earth's crust, I think is something like... Something like... I can't remember. It's either somewhere between 7 and 12 times as abundant uh, as okay. gold. So it's so about 7 to 12 times The historical cheaper. price of silver was that, you know, you could get somewhere between six to 12 pieces of silver for a piece of gold. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what the ratio was in like Roman times, but it was like well, somewhere I, between I'm eight sure it depends ten. on the local geography though, right? Exactly. Because it's not evenly distributed. So no. in an area where there's a lot more silver, that's going to be different to an area where there's hardly any. But also some of these things are based on supply and demand, right? Because a lot yeah. of the silver that's mined in the world is mined in things like copper mines. Um, so as a result, you would get like, if, if there's a demand for copper, you get a lot of back like silver coming out. There's no, there are ah, silver mines, but, a byproduct. but often like you'll find that gold mines will be mined for gold. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they'll have byproducts too. But mm -hmm. mostly, like, it's like for example... Like, so a high demand for, for copper lowers the price of silver and a, because more silver's coming exactly, into the Exactly, and a low demand or a low supply of, of copper. Mm. You know, if, co if the price of copper's low, people are going to be mining less copper. Right, so And so that silver. pulls the price down of... Of it increases the sorry, price that of increases silver. the price of silver. Yeah. yeah, but then what happens is like it's a supply and demand, right? Mm. So it's like oil too. 
Yeah. So like, we know there's like a thousand tons of gold underneath the ocean. Mm. You know, I, I th- like there's loads of big sources of gold, but it will cost us like two thousand pounds per ounce to mine it. But yeah. it's only a thousand pounds cost. Mm. But if the price shoots up, a load of people will start doing yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's why we started doing offshore oil drilling, isn't it? Yeah. It's finally, the price you could sell it at justified the investment. It's like Bitcoin. It's just like the Bitcoins, kids. I love how Bitcoin is that is, is, is <laughs> Bitcoin is like mining rather than the other way. So yeah, I'm I'm through to like level four of this. I've done a bunch of them. I wonder if any of them are pretty good. There's a, there's a few that I've I've done that are quite fun. Some of them are like um, you have to make infinite ones. Right. Um. So this, for example, is one that has to make this product, which is an infinite product. What does that mean? Well, it has to keep. You have to keep feeding it in. Mm-hmm. But, but that's what we were doing before, wasn't it? Well, no. But watch. So this time, my machine is re- again pretty inefficient. But okay, so it's assembling a like a specific. It's assembling like a polymer that that keeps pushing it into the, and so it's pushing it into the slot for ah, infinity. I see. So that's that. That was a fun. It one. is satisfying, isn't it, when you get it get it working? I do like making these machines. It took, I mean, uh, this design again is like a bit weird, but wow. it's just it works. It's something that, yeah. There you go, bam. So that was that was oh, yeah, that was pretty good, good scores one. too. Um, what else did I do that I liked? There are a few others. I don't know if you want to see these or not. What's this one? Uh, some of these are super weird. So some of these products like are like kind of kind of a bit crazy. And I, I've I've done quite a few of them in very small areas. Um, so this is like this one requires you to bond like four different materials together. Okay. And so I assemble it in a about. really weird oh, way. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. this looks really small and efficient, but quite slow. Is that? It is pretty slow because it's got this long, awkward-shaped thing. But I wanted to use the tracks. Yeah. I like the tracks quite a lot, but tracks aren't cheap. They're like ten per unit. So in fact, I'd probably be better off with a. Well, it's cheaper than a string of grabbers. My machines are always like. In fact, it's not even the smallest area. Not oh. the smallest cost. Not it's not it's not, not great. Not your not best a, work. Not, a, not my best work. <laughs> yeah. um, what else did I enjoy? This isn't really sort of spoilers because you've got to sort of do your own ones. This one is making a this this compo- this one, which from these reagents. So that's so the way I did this was, mm-hmm. I assemble it, and then you see see to make these white ones you have to drag the, the, the compound through this this hole oh i see right and that converts it this was one i was pretty pleased with yeah that's oh, that's, wow. that's pretty very good. few cycles um that's very nice no i've really enjoyed doing these uh what else did i enjoy uh mm. know, what's this one? Oh yeah this is making um so this this one right what you had to do was you started with this stuff Okay, and you had to pull the um, the iron out of the middle, right? And replace it, and upgrade it, and replace it with copper. Oh. So what I do is my my thing pulls so you have to it, break all of those bonds, pulls one off. Yeah. Okay. Puts nice. it there, inserts a, a quicksilver to yeah, upgrade it. Yeah, pull one it. off and insert. Just up, upgrading it in situ, and then it sticks oh, it back on as it goes around. On as it goes around. Very slick. Ah. But you can barely even see it reconnect that thing. It's like it just grabs it as it goes by. Shrunk. Oh, that's good. This was a really, this was a really nice design. I really like this design. See, it's pretty, it's pretty. I'm somebody's it's really hard to imagine how they did it. Someone has done it better than this. Like, oh my god, how has someone done? They can't have done all three at that that level, right? They must to hit that low cost. They must have made it exactly. Loads of For example, well, the one which is really, really low cost is probably a really complicated, long, long. Long, takes ages. Yeah. Whereas the one which is a really, really small area probably costs Cost loads. loads. Yeah. yeah. There's no way you could get the best score in all three. No. Right. So I feel like mine's like mine's like best of. I don't, I don't design one-sided machines. I design like I just I just really like this like this design like I really like the the, the challenge of because when mm. you pull this off it, it pulls this one off and leaves it there and then that moves it to another binder. Mm. So, because normally... Because that is quicker than waiting for another arm to, like, get in there. And I like the idea of, of just changing that in situ as well mm. with a with an upgrader. Bam. But it has to, like... It's quite awkward because you have to have this the track. Or I, I could either use an extender here or... or so I could have, I could have instead of this, used, like, an extender, picked up 
this stuff here and just extended it in. Oh, okay. But I thought it was cheaper to use this, which mm. well, it's the same cost actually because it's like twenty plus two for each of those. So actually, mm. that's yeah, that's, that's thirty. Same. This is this is this would be forty. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's slightly cheaper. So I don't know. Um, boink. So this is on Steam. It came out um, came out like last week, and I I played Space Cam a lot. I played the other games that they've made, and I mean it's just I don't know just satisfied me for some reason. It's out on Steam. It's, I don't know, it's like 20 quid or something. Um, yeah, so that's not in the bundle. We're going to play some bundle yeah, games now. Yeah, should do some bundle games. I just wanted to show you this because I've yeah. been playing it and I really like it. So. Yeah, it's cool. Thanks everyone for putting up with that for an hour. I hope you, hope you enjoyed that. Um, Joe Hart donated. Can I have my screen back, Steve? Yeah, you can. Um, I, will, I, will, I, will, nah. I will get that done. Thank you very much, Joe Hart. And thanks for, to A.H. Kieran. I'm known and loved by many of the Oscars. Can I add Ben to that? You know A.H. Kieran. Yeah, I know A.H. Kieran. He's, he's in XCOM. He's a pretty prolific character. Yeah. yeah. He's been around for a long time as well. You've been watching for a long time, A.H. Kieran. Thank you. Mm. Good work, man. Michael McDonald has donated. Steve, can we get the um, list of games up? Because we, we need to get these. We need to, to play some of the games. Um, right. right. Let's start the ones we haven't done yet. So Dreaming Sarah. That's where we'll begin today, okay. I think. This is... A, I think it's VR enabled type game. Oh, it's not on Steam. This one. Uh, yeah, it it's is. Like I've, a got it, I've got it on Steam. Oh, I ha I can't get it on Steam. I have to download the. You have a thing. key and a direct download. Oh. Yeah. So some of so in humble some. Oh, of the, you're right. Some of the games have a direct download if you don't want to use Steam. You don't Steam. like Steam. Um, uh, so I find Steam super convenient, just having everything in one place. Okay, let's bust this open. Okay, it's a tiny window. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to expect. Um, let's see if I can see if I can get this this ball running. I guess these are going to be single player games. Probably. Um, well yeah, it is single player. Okay. Uh, it is an adventure platformer where you play as Sarah, a girl who is in a coma, explore the world around her, and help her to wake up. Okay, we are going to do it. It has got chief, chiefs, so we're going to do that. Let's let's bust it into full screen. Okay, actually, I do need Lewis's monitor back. Please, that's all right. Um, I need to ah, we go. I don't have borderless, but it seems to work fine. Um, thank you, Michael McDonald, who is watching the Jingle Jam. He says, "This is Mike. This is Michael McDonald, and I listen to the Jingle Jam all day." Thank you. Well, how did you know? I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> How did you know it was a song? I do not understand. It's a very, very old Yogpod reference. Oh, very, very nice. old. Mm. Because someone sent us, I think, a voice message back when we were doing the Yogpod. They right. sent us a message, and it was just, it was just that. <laughs> right. It was sure. very strange, but we liked it. It's famous. Sure, um, I like it. Yes, that is a classic throwback. Oh, fire, fire Ben for not knowing the throwback. I know, right? I had not listened to the Yog Pod. <sighs> but Lewis. It was kind of I, awkward. I do have a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that, man. <laughs> um, so is this, is this a bit sad? Is the music um, going to be too... Probably a little bit sad. Is the music going to be too... The, the Christmas jolly music going to be too much? Is this going to bring us down a bit? Yeah, well, well, the soundtrack is available for download, so maybe we should... Cut the Christmas jazz and enjoy the original soundtrack. I always have a habit of running backwards. Because that's where the secrets are. Yeah. Oh, it's the thing. Um. Oh, space bar. Let's look at the controls. Interact X. Jump Z. I think I'm supposed to have a controller. Do you want a controller? This one right here. Is it plugged in? Uh, probably into the wrong computer. It's not plugged in. It's all right, I can plug it in. Go on, give it a go. I, thi I think this needs a, a, a plug-in. Need, we need a controller here. We need a controller up in this. As much as I'm a keyboard gamer. Oh, what's this? Oh, this doesn't look good. Okay, this is weird. It's I think that is one of the chiefs. It is. Achieved. I 
got to cheat, Ben. Oh, congrats. Right, next game. <laughs> you can use it to glide <laughs> by holding Z. Oh, right. Well, plugged it in. Come on. Come on, controller. I shouldn't have run left, should I, really? It's a kind of a weird... Well, you've got the umbrella, so it's paid off. What is this, you think? Is that you jumping or me jumping? This is me jumping. Okay, don't press anything for a sec. Your controller's not working. No, it's just flashing. I just heard um. I heard a bing bong. We're going up. Could you plug in the um, the 360 one instead? Oh. I think that'd be better. Actually, this is working. This is actually. Oh, okay, cool. This is actually working. Steve. Problem solved. Thanks, man. This is way better with a controller. What's this? Oh, that's the umbrella. That's inventory. God, it's really, really like retro jumping sound effect, isn't it? It's taking me back to like the 90s and the 80s. I got a hat. Do, 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 do. Achievement oh, achievement unlocked. unlocked. Hat. hat. I guess this game is fairly simple. Yeah, it's probably one of those like journeys. So I like reckon I need to probably thing. go back down now. You know, it's not going to be a, um, a Cuphead, is it? Have you played Cuphead? Yes. What did you think? Um, I think I don't have enough time to get good at that game. Well, apparently, Life's too short, right? <laughs> like, you just have to do it over and over again, but it's actually yeah. pretty short, is what I've heard. Oh, okay. Like, you can be done with it in like... I played it a bit and was like, I get it. I don't want to... This isn't a brick wall I particularly feel like bashing my head against. Mm. Cause that's the only way to play those games. Yeah. Like, you know, Dark Souls, Cuphead. Like, you just need to keep playing them until you got that muscle memory down. Yeah, there's a lot of games like that, but some people love them. Some people love it. Yeah, I think. I think. So we were talking a little bit earlier about if you just joined the stream, welcome to the Jingle Jam 2017. We are playing the games that are available on the bundle, humblebundle.com/slash discuss. But I was reading a Reddit thread mm -hmm. um, this morning. Actually, well, not this morning. It was last night. Um, about like the best games of 2017, and there's like oh, okay. ten games on there that I've never played. Wow! I never played Nier Automata. Or no, nor called. did I. Or Nio. 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 That's a that's a Is different that very game. Good? Nier and Nio are different games. Okay, are they both on the list? They're both on the list of games that are like. I feel like I should be able to interact with this. Maybe we're turning into grumpy old men. We need to like. Well, no, we're not turning into grumpy old men necessarily. We just we just know what we like. That's true. And we play, like, kind of games that we like. Oh, okay. I'm, right. I'm used to water being instant death in these kind of games. It's a common common, it's a common scenario. Yeah, bit of a trope. I think I should be... Mm. Oh, that's a thing. What is... Yeah, I should do that. Like, um, we were looking for a film the other night, and then we thought, oh, you know what, sod it. Let's just literally go through top 50 films, top best 50 films of all time go down that list and there was like four or five on there I hadn't seen and so we just went and watched some of them what did you watch? Um, Inception no I watched um, Seven Seven with Brad Pitt and the head in the box yeah that box was in the box Because well I hadn't bothered seeing it because like I knew I had it spoiled for me and what, I hate the head in the box yeah thing? like literally like I just did and the and the other thing about who's the bad guy um, I don't remember that but carry on and at the time, so I was like, oh, okay, so there's, so now I know who, who done it and what happens at the end. Maybe I'll give it a miss. And then I just never got around to seeing it again. Um, so, yeah, but it was really good, obviously. Steve's. Um, it's not Steve. Steve's it's, talking it's to like us about half an hour to now. the end before you but find it. Yeah, I mean, we it. could. If we. All right. No, I watched it literally two days ago. That's a, I did that relatively recently. Went through the IMDb top, top a million films or whatever. Mm. Didn't he didn't say he'd given something to me in my inventory? You have a hat and an umbrella. That's all what I've seen No, but didn't up. that guy give me something? Oh, I wasn't reading. I wasn't really reading either, but I'm pretty sure he gave me something. Anyway, no, I, I did exactly the same, Ben. And um, I really tricky, enjoyed though, a, few, it's, a few movies. I, found, I looked at a few different top, top best films of all time lists, and there's two different kinds of those lists. Yeah. <clears throat> there's the kind of... The ones I, that I agreed with and the ones that I don't, basically. And the ones that I don't necessarily agree with feel a bit pretentious because it's basically every film on that top 100 films list is made before 1972. 
And um, I've watched a few films made before 1972, and only a couple of them are any good. <laughs> like, the style is so, so different now that it's really hard to go back and watch, like, most films from the 50s and enjoy them. Because they're so slow. I mean, but if you say that, did you watch um, um, Seven Angry Men or whatever it's called? Twelve, Twelve Angry, Angry Men. Men. Yeah, that's a very good film. I enjoyed that. That um, was actually excellent. That's it? really one of the only exceptions I can think of off the top of my head. How many did you? So how many? How many of there? Are, what, what else is on the list? So I, the let's first have a, list. Let's I have a quick look because I'm interested. The first list that I found was basically everything on that list was from before, um, before the 1970s. IMDb top 50 of all time, um, according to IMDb. Yeah, it's all right, Steve. Don't worry, you can share this. So, obviously, the Shawshank Redemption. You've watched that. Everyone's yeah, that's watched great. It. It's great. Yeah, Godfather and Godfather Part yeah, Two. Yeah, they're great. Great movies. The, um, the, the Dark, Dark Knight. Knight. I don't know why this is on here. Well, it's because it's just by fan rating. Oh, I isn't see. It? Rather than so actually, so this like is just critics. just top top rated. Yeah, Twelve Angry Men, brilliant. Schindler's List, brilliant. Fiction, brilliant. Um, Return of the King, obviously the worst of the Lord of the Rings films. I'm not sure why that's the highest rated. Um, Good, the Bad and the Ugly, f uh, classic. Yeah. And you've got to have seen that classic, by now, even if you um, only don't watch black and white films. I don't think this is in black and white. No, it it's is, not, but it's in like sort of grainy, old-timey yeah, style. Sergio no, it's great. That's Leone. obviously the fantastic Fight Club's one of my favourite films. I, the, when I was a teenager, this was one of my favourite Yeah, favorite same here. Time. I loved um, it at the time. And obviously, the original Lord of the Rings, I mean... I mean, I think when I, I, I may have ruined Lord of the Rings for myself by subjecting myself to the extended editions. Um, they were very... I, I lived with a guy yeah. uh, when I worked at Pfizer who was like the biggest Lord of the Rings fan boy mm -hmm. of all time. We had a day where we watched back to back all the extended editions. Oh, don't watch them all in one day. And it was like, too much. It was, it was like I'd got drunk on Bacardi and I couldn't drink it again <laughs> after yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? It's like that time, that time when you were a kid you and you super downed down a bottle of Malibu oh, yeah. and now the smell of coconut just makes you wretch. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you've done that to yourself with all of the rest. That's rings, literally what happened to me, yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, Forrest Gump, like, oh, it's, 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 it's good, but it's, it's not it's like a, it's a the classic. greatest film of all time, is it? Uh, the Empire Strikes Back is on this list well, as, obviously. As, as the best at Star Wars movie, which... Because it um, is. is is probably correct. Um, Star Wars movies were good. I mean, uh, did you know George Lucas never directed? He only directed the any first of one. the uh, Star Wars movies. He didn't even That's direct the first one. He direct? Yeah, he did. I don't think he did. He, you know. he definitely did. He directed original Star Wars. He didn't do Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. Uh, he, oh yeah, right. He did direct it. I didn't think he directed it for some reason. For some reason, mm. he definitely didn't do this. Though it was Irving Kirshner. Yeah. Who d who was um, who also directed a bunch of other really bunch good of other stuff. terrible stuff. Oh, his his thing his list of films is the worst. Apparently, that's right. It's like the best <laughs> or the worst, <laughs> yeah. and it's the it was the worst. Robocop two. Yeah, but this was a really good movie. Yeah, of course. I don't know why he. You know, I guess lightning. But really also, that's the thing. Right? Like, I don't think he he kind of he's credited as the sort of story, but. I think that these guys kind of wrote it. They did the script. Like, George Lucas was like, this is what I want to happen. And, and they were like, okay. And they were like, okay, we'll make that into human. human and then language. what happened with... Um, and he did all the prequels himself. Um, he did all the prequels himself. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, George Lucas. So he directed the prequels. Yeah. And by directed, I mean sat in a chair in a green screen studio. And wrote it as well, which is <laughs> why it was quite so bad. Yeah. And then... Sat on a chair in a green screen studio. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a Revenge of the Sith, yeah, which was, again, he did all again written and directed. Yeah, he did it. Did they film all these three, three at the same time or something? No, but they did them sort of like, they took a, just like a few months break between and then started the next one. I mean, but by. at the time of Phantom Menace, people were not incredibly critical of it when it for, when the, the day it came, the, the time it came out. No, a couple of weeks after it came out, people were like, oh, Star Wars is back, hooray! And then after a couple of weeks, they were like, oh, maybe it's not as good as we thought it was. How do you feel about the new one? Now you've had a couple of weeks to well, digest it. Well, super spoiler alert. Okay, let's, 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 let's do spoiler-free let's, let's not do that. Let's, let's not go there because it's going to be too much trouble. So we can, we'll okay. come back to Star Wars next year when everyone's had a chance to see it. All right. Okay, cool. Um, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, really, really a fantastic movie. Yeah. Quite depressing. 
but some of these movies are quite but, depressing. But this IMDb list is I mean, like... These lists, these, some of these movies yeah, are sure, not sure, exactly Redemption fucking no, feel-good movies, are course, they? Of course, of course not. Um, Inception um, is on there, which I, I really enjoyed. I really don't like Inception. I really enjoyed I it. I think it's super overrated. I really enjoyed it. Um, Goodfellas is... I don't know. I don't think this is... Good. I thought this was a little bit overrated. Yeah. Is it? It's well, it's like it's one of the right. best movies of all time. Probably not. I'd say it's like it's like a seven, isn't it's it? It's a good like, movie. It's a really good movie. Matrix, the original Matrix. I think this is on there because it was like well, it redefined at the cinema. Time, it was like yeah, it was super groundbreaking. Um, it was. See, I've got again, like I've seen this, but it's. I watched this in like a, a trendy cinema when I was at university with like trendy people, mm-hmm. and it was. A bit of a hard, right. bit of a hard bit, one. Bit arty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but bit of a, bit right. of a tough one to watch. I've watched this recently, mm. Leon. Oh, that's great. I, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, he's just a Kevin Spacey classic, classic twist. Twist. <laughs> twist. <laughs> twist movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, for that, yeah, don't, don't spoil. I don't think I've watched... It's literally unwatchable. I don't think I've watched these, these two you. movies. Maybe I have. I can't remember. I probably have. Sights of the Lambs, obviously classic. Yeah. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. I watched this in the cinema when yeah. I was um, fourteen or thirteen. Uh, well, and it says it there was, you would have been fifteen. I would have been. Okay, it does say fifteen, but it, I remember it was a fifteen. Oh yeah. And I was only fourteen. Oh, sneaky. And, and I'm. I think at the time, mm-hmm. I went with some of my friends, and some of my friends were only thirty. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, it must have come out in the summer, and then your birthday's after the summer, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and um, did you, did it you, was quite did traumatic. You all, did you climb up on each other's like shoulders and wear a trench coat? Well, I remember the yeah. opening scene is very, very oh, gruesome. Oh, grisly, yeah. And we were all sat there like very traumatised by how bad gruesome Oh, young, was. young Brindles. Young, young Brindley. <laughs> oh, no. It was pretty rough. Um, Spirit Away is one of my favourite Ghibli movies. It's a great movie. It's, again, it goes a bit weird, as most... Um, Ghibli movies do. Yeah, they it's always start off bits. strong and then they go weird, don't they? This shouldn't be on there because it's too new. Well, yeah, I don't even know what it is. Is it out yet? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Disney. It's a, it's, it's a well, you can't, animated you one. You can't put a film that has come out this year movie. as one of the greatest films. Well, of no, all but time. this is just, this is just like a list of the top rated, and yeah. so that will drop down. Yeah, it will. Um, American History X. That's oh, the one super where depressing. the curb stomp. Curb stomp. Jesus, that yeah. is a that is a Ooh. really really grisly bit. Um, God, that's hard to watch. Even making uh, it makes my makes me feel bad. Like just thinking about that. Uh, Once upon a time in the west. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a western. Is this? Yeah, it's a classic western. It is a classic. It's a Sergio Leone film. Yeah. Henry Fonda. Man, I should watch this. I watched this over Christmas. Maybe soundtrack's great. I love a western. Yeah, it's nothing. Interstellar. Interstellar, what is that does doing not on, deserve, this on this I, list? Man, Interstellar triggers me. But I Tars really dislike cool. it. Green Mile's a great movie. Psycho is a great movie. Casablanca is a great movie. City Lights is the Charlie Chaplin, I think. Yeah. I so, haven't seen that one. Worth watching. They're only short, these okay. things. Um, I watched uh, all of Chaplin's stuff. They're only, they're only short. Oh, in fact, this one's quite a long one. Oh, hour right. and a half. But even so, an hour and a half. Is it worth watching? Yeah. Like they're all too old timey because they're, no, they're not. They're not they're, like the dictator. Well, yeah, great. I've seen the dictator. The great dictator is really, really. That's good. probably the only Chaplin film I have seen. Um, but no, these are all worth watching. Actually, they're all. They're all. All of his stuff's worth watching because it's just. It's not too bad. Modern times again, really good, worth watching. Um, just mm. amazingly relevant still today. Like, and um, yeah, really, really cool okay. bit of cinema history. Indiana Jones got to be on there, hasn't yeah. it? Just. Just good fun. The Pianist is a miserable film. Oh, yeah, it really is, isn't it? It's really depressing. Yeah, well, um, most, you know, grisly Holocaust films are, aren't they? Yeah. Rear Window's great. Um, it too. It's classic. Rear Window. Rear Window, I'm trying to remember. It's black and is white. Is that the Hitch- Hitchcock one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, I, oh, basically, The Simpsons has ruined it for me. Yes. Well, The Simpsons loves old movies and old-timey <laughs> stuff. And I think, you know, Seth MacFarlane and just generally Simpsons writers just wanted old like Family Guy has a lot of old old the same yeah, vibe as like classic 50s films loving classic books classic film Back to the Future really great movie um, I'm glad that's actually on there Whiplash what, is really is Whi- good I haven't seen Whiplash Gladiator yeah Gladiator was a good film but it's not it's not top 50 film of all time I feel like if you're going to put Gladiator so. on there might as well fucking Titanic might as well be here yeah you know what I mean it probably is. Yeah, why isn't Titanic on here? People love that film. Lion King's good. The Prestige. Is that Prestige the one I'm doesn't thinking deserve of? to be on here. That's um, um, Wizard Wizard Battle. 
Um, it is, and it's not great. The ending, it just kind of shits its own pants Didn't at the end. Didn't this one come out at the same time as another Wizard battle? Yeah, movie? there was two Wizard Wizard War films. Uh, this same was the time. better one that came out. Um, yes. Because it's, it's Christopher Nolan. Um, but the problem with the prestige is the whole film, the whole premise of the film is it's like real wizards doing real tricks and it explains how it's all done in real life and why, where the technical skill was and everything. And then at the end, spoiler alert, there's just a fucking magic cloning machine. Yeah. Like, that's so out of, out of touch with the rest of the movie. Really, really spoiled it for me. Memento. It's got a special place in my heart, Memento, because yeah. I was 17 um, and I was going to like a film club at college and we were like watching like weird little offbeat films and that was on it. And like we all felt like we oh, the two we're watching interesting films that I, well, uh, that I watched about 10 seconds of. Sometimes you, this is a thing you mm-hmm. might find in your life that you, you want to, you go, you go, you're, you may be on a date with a lady at someone's house, mm-hmm. uh, maybe your own house, maybe their house. Let's, let, no, let's not dig too deep into this, but this movie I watched about five minutes of. Right, <laughs> and that's it. Well, because we had more important things to do when I was seventeen than, than watch movies. What? That's so crazy to It was on in the background. Oh, that's not a film you can have on in the background. I know. <laughs> bit, there's no way I followed this at all. <laughs> so to this day, you cannot watch Memento without no, I watched storming it back, I watched it back relatively <laughs> recently. Um, oh, it was a special <laughs> moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been worse. I could have been watching something a lot worse. Yeah, the like I mean, Apocalypse Now. Or something. I could have not killed the moon. Too bad, but you know, imagine watching Alien in the background. <laughs> yeah. um, the other film I watched uh, in the background was Cliffhanger. Did you ever? Watch oh, Cliffhanger? I've never seen it because it looked awful. Well, I, again, it was for some reason I was watching this on TV in the background. And oh yeah, what a bad in the background movie. is now code for Lewis getting some. <laughs> <laughs> It is. Well, this game's running in the background. Um, oh, yeah. Which, uh, We're playing we, this game. We, we, we can, oh, that's my inventory. Look, I've ah, got a Ah, you've got a sack and a, sack and a hat. Sorry, uh, Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. We're, we're not paying you enough attention in your yeah. dreams. Wake up from your dream. Is that a compass or a sword? I don't know. Can't tell. Compass. compass. That's three chiefs. See, now, one chief is, is all we need, but three chiefs is telling me to stop. You know, I'm going to spoil too much of the game otherwise. You know? Um, I don't feel like we've really got into the game yet. Oh, yeah. This is all just mood setting at the moment, isn't it? I don't know. Do do. I think the compass will point me where I'm supposed to go if I get lost. Um, is that is that right? Man, I wish I umbrellas really did work like parachutes. That'd be the best. Let's, let's. Can we get the, the noises? Oh, I muted it myself. Ah, there we go. Cool. Sorry, I muted, I muted it using the mute button on this keyboard because wow. I didn't want the spooky didn't background. Had... Mute. Well, you've got a beer stained keyboard. Yeah, someone has just jizzed all over this thing. Well, it Look, was, it was, it's gross. We need to get it cleaned up, Sam. Come see. Can we get uh, some. I got some pampers somewhere. <laughs> some nappies. Some wet wipes. <laughs> Where am I going? I think I'm doing circles of the moon now. All right, look, I, I think we should move on, Ben. I think we should move on from this. I think you've um, gone to the wrong place. You're in a desolate wasteland. I am. Right, we're, 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 we're we got good. stuck. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. It's not um, our kind of game, really. The whole like moody storytelling. It's game. it's quite a nice game. I would like to f- to play it, um, but I'm too distracted by cliffhanger and Sylvester <laughs> Stone. We could carry on going through this, but actually, a couple of these really picked up. Like, um, We're back on Apocalypse the films. Now is a great movie. Really, really good. Yeah, movie. although it is quite. Don't watch it when you're tired because it does drag a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit long. Alien is is a movie I watched. Um, with in with my when I was very t- far too young to watch it. Yeah, and I watched it like because we were on holiday, and my parents were watching it on TV in the room. Oh yeah, and I was like watching it, even though I was supposed to be asleep. Yeah, it was a lot more scary than my parents realized. My, I don't think my parents knew what it was going to be. Oh right, shit! Because they just watched it on on the telly, and oh. we got about sort of twenty minutes in, and they were they were like, "We have to turn this we off." We made a horrible mistake. Yeah, I was like far <laughs> too young. Um, shit, I did that when I was like six or seven. Um, I, I snuck down while my babysitter was watching a film and I sat in the doorway like, and watched it over her shoulder. She didn't know I was there. And she was watching uh, Pet Cemetery, mm. Stephen King. And I had nightmares for weeks about my cat coming back to life and trying to kill me. <laughs> um, but then ever since then, literally never get scared in any film. Like it's burnt out whatever part of my, your brain is. Right, that, that was so movies. scary that... I was traumatised and now I'm immune. Alien. And now man, I can't, can't was, watch horror films. I get super bored. It was a scary, bored. scary movie. Because I can't... They don't, they don't scare me anymore. So I'm just sat there going... 
Uh, really? Like, yeah, I get really bored in horror films now. I think you're just un, you're just unscared. Well, yeah. I sh- we should take that as a challenge, Ben. In that case, hit me, hit me with your best shot. Because Lisa loves horror films. She, that's her go-to. Have film. you watched? Um, what's that good horror film that's been in recent years? Not Paranormal Activity. That's garbage. Um, the. Uh, but yeah, I have seen all the Paranormal Activities. Have you seen? Have First you, ones. Have right? you seen? Um, uh, whatever, yeah. <laughs> S- send messages in chat. The Babadook. Have you seen the Babadook? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> that was just fine, was it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not scary. It was, you know, metaphor. I get it. Cool. Okay. What you just uh, you just analysed it to death. <laughs> you were like, this isn't scary. Uh, get Out wasn't that scary, but it was good. The Country. It was fun. I don't. I wouldn't say Get Out was a horror film. It was more of like a, I don't know, psychological thriller. Get Out was excellent. It was very good. But um, not not a horror film for me. Trolls two, <laughs> the descent. Oh, the descent is an old. The descent. Film. I've really enjoyed the descent. It was it was it's it's good. It's on Netflix actually. I think is you it? can. Yeah, I, I watched. Man, it I haven't seen it since it came out on Netflix. Um, what else? What else? Well, look, we can keep chat going is down, suggesting but. a lot of horror films. I've seen all of these films. Your chat is saying none of them are scary. Have you seen um, Go the Fireflies? No. What is it? Really good. It's a, a, a animated. Um, it's like a, a Ghibli. Oh, okay. But, but it's not, I don't think. It's not actually Ghibli, a Ghibli. But it's, it's like, it's kind of like an anime, but set during the war. Oh. And it's, you'd love it. super depressing. It is really depressing, yeah. I, I, I made me cry. Oh, shit. It's great. I love it. Um, the new Blade Runner, of course. Oh, everyone says that's good. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. Again, Because I always felt the down, original but... Blade Runner was really overrated. Well, the original Blade Runner hasn't made the list, has it? No, but it's like a cult, cult classic. You go to any kind of film school crew, and they'll all be it? like, "Oh, it's one of the greatest films ever made." On the list, nah, it's overrated. It's like a seven out of ten tops. Steve, Steve, Steve's like vehemently like yelling <laughs> in the <laughs> other room now. <laughs> okay, we're going to upset people with our opinions. We are, then, but everyone you know has what? their own opinions. You can but have your opinion, and me thinking a different and, thing. And also, it doesn't matter. Also, like these, well, it's very perspective based, right? But I can yeah. say that word if I'm careful. Let's get the bundle game. So let's play a bundle game, Steve. We've got but more bundle I, games. Hang on, I want to talk about this first. I do not understand why people get so upset about people having different boom. opinions. Boom. Do you know boom. what I mean? Boom. Like, you say something, and then boom. everyone is like, oh my God, boom. 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 I hate you because you don't think the same thing as me. <laughs> or they think that I think they're a dickhead because they have a different opinion to me. No, you know what? Pe- different people like different things. Boom. It's fine. Burn Don't worry burn. about it. You can like your thing. I'll, I'll, I will not like it and not watch it. Doesn't matter. No? Pip. Really? The favorite Labyrinth. film ever. Your favorite, Steve's favorite film. Well, the, the David Bowie is... Labyrinth. Okay. Is it called Labyrinth? I thought it was just called Labyrinth. No, it's not. It's called Labyrinth. It's just there's called, no there. It's called, there's no the. There's it's no your favorite the, film, Steve. You don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Steve doesn't even know what his favourite <laughs> film's called. Uh, directed by Jim Henson. Fucking mm. Muppets. Fucking Kermit the Frog. Literally directed. He is. <laughs> just he died far too young, didn't he? He did. Yeah, poor guy. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty, a mini, mini bio. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a mini bio, is it? No, it's as many as it gets. He was a very busy man. Did a lot of things. He, would, he did. Oh, of course. Remember this, the Dark um, Crystal? I do remember the Dark Crystal. Now with that, the that messed me up when I was a kid. It was pretty creepy this. as a kid, wasn't it? It was, actually. I don't think it intended to be, but it but really But all the gave puppets look super creepy. Even the good ones. Like, scroll up. Like, the baddies were scary, obviously. But the, even the goodies were real creepy looking. Yeah, they were really creepy, weren't they? They were very Uncanny Valley, weren't they? Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's what it was. With them. And look at this. I mean, it's like the designs on these things. Everything was just really creepy. It really gave me nightmares watching the Dark Crystal. Mm. Man, that was my that was my nightmare. I haven't movie. watched it for a long time, like, since I was like less than ten. Well, I, I wouldn't okay. if I were you. No, it's not worth going back. I don't know. Maybe. So this is Headlander. This is um, Double Fine. Old. Um, oh, Double Fine. Yeah, I know. I know. Tim Double Schafer, Fine. Double Fine, and um, Adult Swim, obviously. Can I? Can you control or? Can I control or? I think you can. I can. What kind of game are we, are we talking about here? Who should I beat? I don't know. I've absolutely no uh, idea what. Beat Mustachio be. Man. This guy. Yeah. Oh, it's very seventies, isn't it? I think that's the idea. Ah. We got a little spaceship. So this is in the bundle, guys. 
This is it. All these ones are. Well, Starcophagus. IMDb was not in the bundle. Starcophagus. Is that like an ironic name? Are we all going to die? Probably. Is this like a like a hearse, like a space hearse? Ooh. So he comes and picks up people and like and just drives them off into nowhere. Fires them into the sun. I'm enjoying the, uh, the retro soundtrack. How do you want to go out then? Do you want to be fired uh, into the sun? After I die, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not how <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> I don't want to be executed by being shot into the sun. <laughs> I feel like that's a bad way to go. Although we were talking about being key, keel hauled yesterday, which seems like a really... What is key hauling? Is it just like thrown over, over the side? No. Oh. What? It's like mm -hmm. a Futurama. Yeah, Futurama head in a jar. Cool. Fuck me in, baby. Oh, making my neck hurt. <laughs> Thinking about having no body. Oh, <laughs> shiny. <laughs> dink. It used that stock sound effect. Yeah. Of dink, you know, that, that classic. classic. Oh, wow. Okay, good move. I ain't much sure why, but Methuselah wants a hold of you. What else can you do? Don't worry, I'll talk you through. Something's gone wrong here. Hello, Rupert. Who did this? Oh, God, look. People are... Shit, everyone's dead, J Dave. A bunch of people have been launch head. Oh, sure. It's, what, it's the name of the game, right? Oh, my God. Sure. No, this looks fine. Oh, nice. Off we go. This is how I want to go out. Rocket head on robo bodies. Oh, this body looks significantly cooler. <laughs> but an upgrade. I am Rod, autonomous door AI. Red security clearance well, required for I'd say you're rude. Entry. Red security clearance. Okay, well, we've got red. We've got a red dildos. Is really more of a dusty rose. A dusty rose? Your red laser will do the trick. Fine, red access confirmed. <laughs> Why do I even bother being thorough? Oh my god, sassy AI. Sass. Sass bot. Oh, move move R to aim laser. Red <laughs> access confirmed. Pew pew. I'm here. The aberration has escaped. Shepherds investigate. Oh, oh man. All Methuselah's on to us. We best hurry. Now, left trigger for precise aim, right trigger to fire. Ooh, oh, right. Ricochets. It's nice. Opening. Whee! See you later! Oh, there's just bodies everywhere. Very handy. Alright. Oh, oh, like he looks like a bad man. Perfect. Oh. Um. So like, can you shoot him again to kill him? Perfect. Uh -oh. oh no, there's another one. Look Ooh. out! <laughs> I just decided to run for it. Escape pods, quick! Pop your head off. That security lasers are blocking the way to the escape pods. Y'all need to get to the bridge. And shut them off. Okay. You can do that. Watch out! Those shepherds got their heads. Ain't gonna be happy to see. They got their heads. Yeah, I'll, I'll take their heads out. Whoa, okay, they, they're shooting you back, man. Careful! Oh, shit. Oh, no. You're nearly dead. Ricochets. stuff at me. Oh, no! Oh, don't go back! Never go back! Heads away! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot him. Eat him. Do it. Eat him. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's down. Okay, onto the bridge. What's this? Bridge. Keep you? I think it's broken. There's a, there's a tunnel at the top, like an air vent. Oh. Oh, right, for my head. Yeah, just for heads. It's a head, head tunnel. <laughs> Looks like them blast doors are stuck half open. 
Y'all gonna have to go under. Oh, roll. Right bumper. All right. Okay. Oh god, the, the struggling. There's, there's a lot of controls now, Ben. <laughs> it's just, it's roll, shoot, and head. I know, but you need to worry about. I know, but. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh, oh no, they punch. Okay, you're right. Punch. Too many. Ooh. Oh dear. Um. I'm going down. Did you ever play um, Flashback or Another World back in the day? Hmm. This game really reminds me of those. Alpha deck. Mm. Chew boy access. Oh yeah, up, up, up into the other. Oh, I see it up here. I'm terrible at finding the tube ways. It's up here. Not a lot. Do you have infinite head fuel? Headland into the. Tr oh. Are you the ship now? Are you in the ship? Stimulate your synaptic connections. Oh my god. Looks like that jolt brought you back and grab online. Y'all can use it to yank off things like heads and tube way hatches. Okay. okay. Cool. Good to know. Ah. Off that tube. There you go. Oh, no, you. What? I think you still need to go that way. What, you think so? Yeah, yeah, I think you've just, like, unlocked, unlocked the tunnel. There you go. Oh, I need a, need a robot you, body. You can rip his head off with your suction cup. So, fuck you. Nice. Um, i keep going. It must be, like, it must be really near the bridge now. Aberration detected. Mm. converge. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's loads of them! <laughs> oh god, okay. Sorry, okay. I can do some. More, more ricochets. This is the key. Key to victory. Uh, Alright, he's out. Okay. Maybe guy. you should um, go rip his head off with your, your head. But he's gonna shoot me. Oh shit! Oh, I quite like the vibe of this, this game. Weird sort of like Futurama retro style. Oh, detach, detach, eject! I did. Nice. Okay, we're good. Uh, we've got dead heads. Of, what's this? I can press. Cool. Escape pods is where we're going. Okay. Perfect. Oh, laser control. We need to go in there. And turn the lasers off. Laser control, yeah. This is where I need to go. Yeah. We need to suck it off. And then, <laughs> like, attach? And take its place? Oh, right. I, I hack it. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Deactivate laser on, systems. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. <gasps> we did it! We made a goal. Thank four you five, everyone five. for donating. Holy crap! Oh my god! Do you think? Do you think we can hit the, the big, the big five before the end of the month? I don't know. I think. Oh crap! I'm, I I can't believe we've even made it this far. Four and a half million. Feels greedy to ask for more. <laughs> suck off this guy's. <laughs> yeah, just, just suck his head off. It's fine. That's how you defeat anyone. That's where I came from, right up there. I think it's this thing. Command something. Doesn't matter. Oh, electro sucks access. Mm, does that mean I need to get a little... A little go, go get one of those fellow friends. Can you be one? Can you... Oh, you can. You can be a vacuum bot. I can suck it. You can get sucked off by the vacuum. Whee! Mom, I'm cleaning my room! Hello. Get out! Little head on a fucking sucky thing. Eject dust. <laughs> oh, amazing. 
what a what a weird little game this is. I really like it. It's already. pretty cool, isn't it? Opening D hole. Opening D hole. Sure. Opening Oh crap. Oh shit. Get in your head. Oh, you're nearly dead. Oh my god, I got Get him. owned. Absolutely pummeled. You got me with two lasers. Can you just drop down? Oh shit. You cannot just jump down. I'm in a bad way. Yeah, you need a new body. Um, pod one ready. Okay, can you just head over? Head over to pod one. Where is pod one? Is it down here? Uh, no. Let's over that. Oh, pod one. And they're in Hatch's safe. See if y'all can find another way into that escape pod. I'm trying to suck it off. Yeah, I did not want to rip your escape pod. Okay, you can just fly the pod. Sure. I'm like a little fucking BB-8. Yeah. <laughs> This looks perfectly safe. It looks like a cock and balls. I think everything is supposed to be a, a <laughs> little joke. <laughs> right. About that. Whee! See you later. We fucking we fucking got out of the sarcophagus. Yeah. Starcophagus. Sorry. My bad. And now we can just uh, fly our dick ship all the way home. Listen. Who needs a fucking body? Yeah, got a badass head and a, and a dick ship. Got a nice mustache. Bodies are overrated. If you had the choice, would you replace your body with a robot? Or my head with a robot? No, just your body. Your head goes on a. Or you, I'd replace my head with a robot head. But not your body. No, I'd have body. the same fleshy <laughs> meat bag body. That makes no sense. Why would you do it that way round? That's like banging the the half fish mermaid monster <laughs> instead of the beautiful woman. I would bang the half fish, the fish, the fishy top, the top, the top fish, and yeah, the woman yeah, yeah. bottom. Yeah, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. You'd get keel holes if you were going doing it the other way round. <laughs> So sorry, keel hauling. What is keel hauling? It's not very nice, Ben. What do they do? It's where they like, um, because the ships are all like, the keel of them are all like mm -hmm. covered in barnacles, right? Right. And what you do is you tie someone onto um, a rope mm -hmm. and throw them off the side of the ship and they scrape against the hull and get Ooh. scraped by all the barnacles. Grim. Don't they, they drown first, I guess? No. They Why do pulling, they not they drown? They keep pulling them out. Oh. So it's like pirate waterboarding. Yeah, basically. But you get rubbed Scraped up against the well. barnacles. Ugh. And you get basically torn to shreds. Yeah. It's that's, horrible. That sounds it's grim. actually horrible. So yeah, don't want to get keelhauled. And that's what I'm saying. It would be like if you have sex with the half mermaid, half fish, the wrong way round. You know what I mean? Not the, wrong, the right way round. <laughs> no, the wrong way round. If you do it with the woman top half, the fish bottom half, you're going to get <laughs> scraped up on all those scales, aren't you? Yeah, but if you do it the other way around, then your face is going to get, like, scraped up. No, you don't have to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fuck your fish monster. Go home. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> no cuddling. <laughs> you're doing it all wrong. Whee! Uh, all right, that is... Uh, that was Headlander. I don't know if we got cheap. We should have done. Well, we did the first level, Because we've done the right? first level. So I feel like you guys will... Get you picture. get the idea. I want to play more of that. That looks really it fun. It does look fun. Sat there on the lounge over Christmas. Bust like it that. out. Get your controller. Get yourself fun. some head. Thank, suck yeah, suck get, off some get, robo get boys. Some head. Uh, we'll be back in five minutes after we've made a cup of tea. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. And then we'll read some donations. And we'll play some of the other bundle games. And Perfect. See you shortly, everyone. BRB.
Mm. Hello, everyone. We're back. Hello. Hope you guys are enjoying your lunch, maybe. It's about lunchtime. Mm. Man, it's getting there. I could do with getting some lunch. Uh, this afternoon, me and Simon are doing our fight fancy book with Kieran. Yeah. Do you think we should finish this stream like a little bit early so you have time to go get some food? I could just put in an, an order request. It's all right. I'll send, I'll send someone out to, to get me a snack. Um, like just a cheese sandwich or something. But yeah, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, we got, we got, these bundle games ain't going to play themselves, Ben. No, that's we true. Gotta, well, apart from the idle ones, right? Oh, yeah, the idle ones do actually play themselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully um, you guys can get in contact with us via donating to the Humble Bundle and yeah. let us know how you're getting on with the bundle games. Like uh, Halaling, who added $5 to their donation, bringing it up to a mighty $470. Halaling. Says, Holy crap. Good morning, pretty boys. I choose to believe that Opus Magnum is in the bundle. Mm. That's the three. Man, I, I, I picked up, I was just bored at the weekend. Mm. And I just went on a bit of a Steam random game binge. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I was just saying to you in the break, maybe we should try and consider like playing the best games of 2017 that we, we I, never played. I'd be very much up for that. Because mm. I've not played any of the, the really big games. Can we see that list of, that you found? Like top well, games No, we can't. Of the year? We can't. We'll have to, it's at home. It's on my, my computer at home. Oh no. Yeah, I can't even remember what's on there. But there's a couple of console games on there. Mm. Um, but yeah, definitely like there's some sort of games of the year. I think I mean, the only sort of contender for game of the year that I seriously played this year was um, Zelda. Zelda was a fantastic game. It was we great. played Mario. Oh yeah, no, Mario was really good too. Mario was good fun. I mean, Zelda, Zelda was better though, I think. Mm. Um, I don't think people will want to watch us play Zelda and Mario. Maybe, no. maybe they will. Let us know. Let us know. Um, Picnic says, uh, "Hey Lewis, I want to meet you on the street. Um, mm. I just want to know why do you smell?" Like pretty flowers. Oh, well, that's very kind oh. of you, Picnic. Well, he works very hard. I, I spray myself with um, <laughs> odor flowers <laughs> every morning. Gross. Uh, Ewan, thank you. Um, Mark, thank you very much. Thank you for supporting so many good causes. Mm. As a transgender man, it's great to see support. Keep up the good work. Oh, we've got a little fire alarm going off there. Oh, you yeah. might hear. Can you hear it? Can that's you? in our office, so don't panic. Any of you. You do not need to evacuate. When I stop dancing, your homes. that means the fire alarm has stopped and you can stop panicking. Woo! Steve, don't press the button, for God's sake. It's very loud for Steve in there. Steve wants to sh share his pain. He wanted to share the pain. <laughs> I think as I already have a painful neck. I think I must have slipped on it oh, funny. Steve, just come in here. Just come in here. Just come in here, Steve. You can come hide in here. in here with us where it's safe. Just stand in here. Okay. Oh, it's much, much go. louder in the it's studio. It's just a little boogie tune in here. Right, <laughs> Steve, just just lurk there while I read donations. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, oh, it stopped. Oh God, it's safe. Why was there a second fire alarm? I don't know. I thought that might have been Dom a real one. Double safe. But we just had a, ch we had a, we have like drills, a lot of drills every week. I don't know why. It feels every like more Tuesday. than every week, but maybe yeah. time just goes fast. It's literally every Tuesday. Mm. But we never noticed it in the old office. They used to do it at like eight o'clock in the morning. And so usually no one was there. No one was in. No. Um, was in now they do it, I don't know, whenever the hell they feel Why like. do they want to do it at lunchtime every day? Because it's not, any, it's not a person who works in the building who does it. It's uh, like a special fire a lazy, testing guy. Lazy guy. And he goes to do another building and then another building. And then he comes here and then he goes off and does another building. I'm not going to eat this apple on stream. I'm going to save this apple until <laughs> a, I get the next really fire packaged. alarm. Um, Jeshi says, thank you, guys. Uh, Lily donated. Thank you very much, oh. Lily. And thank you, Sydney. Um, thank you to all of Sydney. Thank you to 5AM1 or 5AM1 or maybe Sam1. Maybe Sam. Thank you, Sam. Sam, you. actually, someone else called Sam has donated. Says, um, oh. Been watching since 2012 during the glory days of Tech It. Mm -hmm. uh, keep up the amazing work. Thank you very much, Sam. Oh, thanks, Sam. Thank you to Ricka, who's been watching since the WoW days. Mm. You, want, you want the Zoom? You want me to eat an apple on Zoom, Steve? You ready? You ready? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. This is what people are tuning in for. Quality Apple close-ups. You can't get this anywhere else, folks. Mm. I mean, I know nice apple. social eating promises, but it does not deliver mm. this quality. Uh. Look at that. Oh, can you hear the crunch? Mm. Can you feel the bite? It's everything we dreamed of. <laughs> and so much more. Steve, thank you. <laughs> Steve. Steve, so people have to watch this. <laughs> They're eating their lunch. Not anymore, though. They not. don't want to see this. 
<laughs> give the people what they want. Mm. Oh. I can't give them everything they want. Oh. They'll never come back. Oh, look at my apple core. Look how, <laughs> look how perfectly artistic this is. Look at this. It's like a cartoon apple core that it is, like, isn't it? you find in a bin when you're looking for food. It's like a cartoon apple core. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rika. And thank you to Randy. Oh. Rika's been watching his WoW days. I played a bit of WoW the weekend, actually. Oh, yeah? Well, I wanted to do the new story. Mm. I wanted to see the new storyline. Mm. And I wanted to... Uh, I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to eat all of that bit of apple chat. Don't worry. There's a lot of good apples still on that. My auntie... Uh, my great auntie playing well. no there's nothing to do with that <laughs> my great aunt mm -hmm. my great auntie Rose so my she's one of four sisters mm -hmm. um, my nana and her three sisters my nana is one of the younger sisters mm -hmm. but during the war my great aunt Rose was a land girl okay so oh, she yeah. was two she was she was I think she was about sort of 16 or 17 during the war mm. and she um, went and Basically, she worked on the land. When it, she was a city girl, but she went out and worked on farms and stuff to, yeah. to get the food. Yeah. In. So because so. all the all the men had to go get shot. Yeah. And she she told me this story. I don't know why this sticks in my head about how the boys would come round and they they'd eat apples, and the girls would ask, "Can can they have the apple cores?" Right. And they'd eat like they'd eat the whole lot, the whole apple. They'd eat a core. Yeah, but eat also I think it was because like these hunky guys had like eat like had their. You, it seems to do probably more creepy. to do with rationing than wanting to like lick an apple someone else's. Maybe, lips. but oh, no, no, no. it was a, it was a weird that. story that for some reason creeped me out when I was a kid. She told me it, and yeah. it still kind of creeps me out. Are you sh what kind of look did, in her eye did she have when she told you this story? I don't remember. I was very small. But, but you know, I think I was like wasting an apple. She was like, you know, don't, don't waste. We'd have eaten that in the war. Yeah, we, when, when the boys used to come around, we used to ask them, can I have your cores? Was it lingo for something else? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't real apple cores. Anyway, you shouldn't eat apple cores because <laughs> the pips have got arsenic in. Yeah, but like and the tiniest amount. No, right? actually, it's quite, quite a lot, actually. Really? Yeah, um... Uh, I've been watching too much Breaking Bad. Apple cores. It's for real. I mean, they are poisonous. Yeah, I think but it, like, if you wanted to kill someone, I think you can get like... Ah, oh, Snopes. Snopes knows. Steve, let's bring it up. Snopes. Where's Snopes? Here we go. Apple seeds and cyanide. Apple seeds contain a cyanide compound, but... Right. This is not concise. Mm-hmm. Is it arsenic? I thought it was arsenic. Now this is this is cyanide. This is not. Oh, here we go. Look, look. True. Apple seeds contain cyanide. False. Ordinary consumption of things is bad. I'm sure it was something else. Not so you have cyanide. to eat like a million of them. Am I wrong about this? I think you're wrong because did you know bananas are radioactive? But the amount of bananas you'd have to eat to get any side effects of the radiation is like would be enough to kill you anyway because you've just eaten way too many bananas. Why? Yeah. Yeah, these. It's, I, I've not heard that one, Steve. Is that. No. Pineapple, pineapple dissolves your. Dissolves your it's, it's like it, it eats away at you. But you swallow it before it does anything, right? Here's how many apple cores it would take to poison you. Let's find out. Let's find out from Wired. No, Where's the actual that's where I get all I my... Need a, I need just a, a number. I need just, a number. Just fill the screen with a single number. Give me a number. <laughs> Give me a number. What, this is one of those things I need oh, that... Uh, I want one click. It, yeah, I just... Fuck you, click sites. This is amygdalin. Okay. This isn't the same. This is not the same. It's not the same. This is, doesn't it's help A lot me. of pictures of apples. Right. Well, who knows? Apparently, <laughs> apparently, arson, apple seeds... Apparently, apples... Are not that bad. Steve says five apples. Five? What do you mean five? This. It's not five <laughs> apples. We wanted Steve. the You're right not number. Googling it. <laughs> if it's not, on, it's not on the front page of Google. Okay, so apparently apple seeds are, don't have arsenic in. No one's talking about arsenic. No, it's not a big cyanide. deal. Cyanide. That's it's the cyanide. thing in apple seeds. Where did I hear this bollocks then? 
Just eat all the apple cores you want. Go, go out in the street or on the farm. Talk to take you. as many apple take as many cores from as many boys as you want as you want and eat them or not or no whatever you want to do apparently to apparently they're not a massive problem there you go but I read it somewhere you did. and it's one of those bullshit things that I must have got in my head at some point and it's now look it up like we just did and yeah. struggle to find you an get answer disappointed struggle to find a comprehensive answer are apples poisonous no. They're not. No. Are the seeds poisonous? I wouldn't eat them. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> to be honest, apple cores, a bit gross. No one eats them anyway. Probably shouldn't eat them so anyway. don't eat them. <laughs> How about that? If you eat them, stop well, eating stop them. Stop it. There's, you don't go, need to. Go fuck a fish there's monster. Plenty, there's <laughs> plenty of apple left for you not to eat, to not have to eat the seeds. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're not Just in the don't. war. They're not that expensive. Well, it's not the war either. anymore. Apples know? are relatively cheap. You know, so don't eat them. You don't eat banana peel, do you? Well, don't eat apple cores either. <laughs> don't eat that white stuff on the orange that's like in between the orange and the skin. Piff. That, that's gross. Why would you? It's called piff. It's called piff. Don't eat piff. Don't eat that either. Don't drink piff either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy, wow. thank you for your donation. Uh, Urban CS, loving the stream. Wow, oh, thanks. Shadow Summit says, congratulations on getting to four and a half million. Uh, may the Christmas penguins bless all those who generously Aww. donated. He donated fifty dollars. Thank you, dude. Holy shit! Eric Book Johansson says, "Great to see so much generosity. Keep it up, guys and girls. Thank you." Ah, oh. Ein Harry says, "Started watching you guys back in 2011, but haven't donated until now. Lots of love. Thank you very much. Thank you to Dave the Good who oh. added five bucks to their donation. We've we've set chat up to fail. Why? Because the word seeds is banned." Oh, what? Duncan Seeds. Duncan Seeds. Oh, no. We didn't mean it. We didn't mean it. <laughs> well, I don't know why this stuff gets banned. These are like good memes. Check the words. They're banned for a reason, says Steve. For your own good chat, apparently, Steve says. Dave the Good. Steve's your daddy now. And says, he knows what's um, best for you. In episode 34 of The Yogpod, Lewis mm -hmm. mentioned that he knew Joe Thomas from The Inbetweeners. Is that true? How old did you know him? What was he like? Which one is Joe Thomas? He like? is. I'll, I'll Google him. Is he the one with the let's, hair? Let's Google like him. He doesn't mind. He's a public figure. Joe Thomas, English actor, not this guy. No, I was going to say, he doesn't look like... Um... Oh, that one. Here he is, looking yeah, really nice. Yeah, the one nice. with the silly hair. Um, he didn't look that nice when I knew him. He looked like uh, a little boy, a schoolboy. How old is he? Is he the same age? He's the same age as me, yeah. Did he go to um, your school? Did uh, this guy go to your school? In between us. All right, where is he? Here he is. This is what he looks like. Um... He's a good lad. He's, he looked like this at school because this is in a school uniform. <laughs> he had hair like that. Yep. He looked. He basically was playing himself at school in the Perfect. In um, no, he's he's a good guy. I like him a lot. Um, we used to be, we used to be acquaintances. He was mm -hmm. like successful, right? Yes, at I'm, school. I'm he was aware like of head that boy because I've heard of him. He was popular. He <laughs> oh had right, he was a cool guy. Yeah, he was kind of a cool, cool. Not but that was he cool, a though. nice cool guy or like a? Dickhead cool guy. He was um, a nice cool guy, actually. A super nice guy. Oh, cool. Like, of all the people in my school. I, he wasn't in my form, I guess, like my, my, my class. Mm. So, obviously, we had four groups of, like, 25, I don't know, in my year, whatever. We just yeah. had different houses. Yeah, we had different houses, too. Yeah. But when I tell people about that, they think I went to Hogwarts. Yes. Because we had Churchill, Ryder, Faraday, Nuffield, and... Another one. Another one. We had Holland, uh, Tyndall, Strutt, <laughs> and another one. <laughs> anyway, I was in Holland. <laughs> Holland. And um, they're obviously named after, I don't know, big benefactors or whatever. Right. Um, and, and Joe Thomas was in, I don't know, Strutt, I think. And so he was like a different group to, to our group. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he was very funny. He was um, just popular, funny in drama, like, you know, did that, that, that route. He mm -hmm. wasn't I think he was a little bit of an in-betweener at school, though, as well, right? He wasn't necessarily... It's not that like, bad if he was, like, head boy and had friends. That's true. He was on the, on the edge of good. He was a good <laughs> student. On the, yeah, he was, he, was, he was good. Yeah, and so... Oh, cool. So, yeah, like, obviously weird, went to school it? for seven years together. Know, know him, like, pretty well. I used to know him at school pretty well. Um, but, yeah, oh, I haven't man. spoken I to him in ten years, though. The so. only famous person in my school was... Um, what's his name? Damon Arban from Blur. But he's right. so much older than me. 
that like he left as I joined. Yeah, I mean he is so like doesn't really count. Mega famous. It's interesting though like, how like at school there were certain people who we were like the most popular kids. Look at my fucking Google search history. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, obviously like and you'd think that they would be set up for like to do amazingly. Mm. Right? And I haven't heard of them since. Yeah, but there's a lot of people maybe doing they, amazingly. Maybe they, they are doing maybe amazingly. Maybe they're like, you know, the youngest um, consultant doctor in the country or something. Like, you would never know. Maybe but they're in like, prison, Ben. Maybe. <sighs> um, Dave, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how I know. Joe, that's my one famous person I went to school with. I think everyone has someone vaguely famous who went to school with them, right? Or something like that. Like, Duncan went yeah, to they... school with someone from Harry Potter or something. I don't know. Someone Everyone's probably in, gone to anyone who went to school in the home counties. Someone knows probably someone who did something, something. <laughs> right? So let us know. Let's know with your donations who you know who did something. That's a good one. Oh, right? We're going to get yeah. to them and then we'll read them out. I yeah. like doing the talk show radio format of getting people to write in <laughs> yeah. with their stupid and doing stories stuff. or good stories or mm-hmm. whatever. Let us know who you know who's famous, how you know them. Hey, if you went to school with them or whatever. The right? shitter the connection, the better. Yeah, the shitter the better. <laughs> uh, Martin from Canada. So, so. Oh wow! Apparently, Steve's one of the most famous people second. from his school. So, hang says. on a second, Steve. Can can they hear you? Right. So Steve's going to have to set up the fact that. Can we just get a camera on Steve as well, Steve? Um, <laughs> just just for a second. So Steve's telling us his story, mm-hmm. right? Steve said. That he is so, his school is so bad that he is the most famous person on the <laughs> alumni. So people have added Steve, I guess, <laughs> yeah. to the Wikipedia page for his school. Wow. There he is. There he is. Wave to the camera, Steve. Yogscast studio engineer, Steve. Yeah, um, I'm not the most famous, but I'm on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, like, you, who's the most famous, Steve? Uh, probably some rugby players. Rugby oh, players, of course. Oh, of course. The yeah. Welsh, Welsh boys, the rugby players. Did you go to like? Did you grow up in like Cardiff or like one of the tiny little uh, like tiny, Welsh, town. tiny town? Uh, population of 30,000. Uh, 30, 30 and people. The eighth biggest town in Wales. Well, oh what, wow! What's it called, Steve? Your town? Aberdeen. Aberdeen, of course. Uh, Lou, no, Aberdeen. Aberdeen, Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Not you... the first person to make that joke, Ben. How do you? What? How do you spell oh, that shit. again? A B E R D A R E. Aberdeen. Yeah, have a day. Nice. Oh, it's on the Ronda. Oh, it's Steve. It's it's here in Wales. Oh, it's not like deepest, darkest Wales, is it? Is it in the... It's um, sort of... It's a, 20 miles north of Cardiff. You can see the light of England from there. Is it near Merthyr Shut Tidville? <laughs> yes, it's the next time over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merthyr was the, the great big mining town. That so was Aberdeen. Aberdeen, yeah. This isn't the town where there was the horrendous catastrophe. No. I know which one you mean. So we used to get a lot of our coal and stuff from yeah. this area of South Wales in the mountain. Yeah. And eventually it all ran out. Yeah. And so these and towns then, were left kind of a they bit. They had huge industry and then they had nothing. Yeah. So they've, they've suffered a bit. The yeah. it's all gone a bit the wrong. famous one. It's still a very big area full of, full of people. Um, but yeah, a lot of people had to, had to leave and it got very poor as a result. Yeah. It was a shame. Yep. You know, like some of these northern coal mining towns as well in England. Uh, 68% of Merthyr is unemployed. 68% unemployment? Yep. That is nuts. Even today. Wow. That's a shame, isn't it? That is is shocking. Yeah. Well, this is what happens when, you know, we have an economy based on a limited thing, you Mm -hmm. know. I guess, like, it becomes harder and harder to get it out and cheaper and cheaper to import it from other places where it's just on the surface. I guess the, the, the other places are going to have this problem sure. across the world too. By 1932, 80% of them were unemployed. That is nuts. Yeah. There you go. Tough old place to live. Yeah. yeah. So just, um, just move. Getting close to raising money for, for five mil. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to the five mil. Um, do you think we'll do it? I think so. I think so. I'm confident. Especially if me and you keep uh, reading these donations out. There. Yeah. Let's do it. That's Martin it. from Canada donated. He says, some cold, frozen Canadian cash. I think you mean wooden ducats? That's what they have in Canada, right? Yeah. Um, Do you know about the money pit? Do you remember the money pit? The money pit, yeah. That was last year or the year before. The, 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 no, the, no, not the money pit movie. The, um, no, the, um, the, the guys, they live streamed the money pit, didn't they? 
live streamed money pit. No, what was this? It was the thing where it was like a, a live stream where they had a digger digging a pit and it cost however much pounds an hour to pay for the digger and people would donate and they would dig a hole for as long as they had money. When the money ran out, they'd stop digging the hole. The Oak Island treasure hole. Oh, that one. Right, no, I thought you meant the, the dumb live stream gimmick. No. <laughs> no, this one where there's like secret treasure. So up in Nova Scotia, which mm -hmm. is, is Canada, right? So this guy, Mike from Canada, some frozen Canadian cash. It just reminded me of the money hole. Yeah. So up this in is a good Nova one. Scotia, yeah. back in the day, there's an Id there was a story that um, basically there was this, on this Oak Island, mm -hmm. there was this guy who, the pirate, a pirate buried his treasure. Yeah. Okay. Captain, Captain Kidd, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, two millions worth of treasure. Which back then, you know. I mean, think about if that was Bitcoin. You know, that'd be worth It may as well be millions. Bitcoins because two million, like, back in pirate times yeah. is billions today, right? And so a bunch of people formed these companies to go and find out what if it was there. Mm. And the great thing about a company is that you can form it up mm -hmm. and then if it goes bankrupt, oh, well. you don't lose any money. Well, right? you, you lose what you put in. Yeah. And so the way that people would avoid, you know, these rich people, well, it would, mm. like, like Trump, I guess, you just make a fucking new company. Yeah, you put in like... Uh, get a load of investments pounds, and we'll get other people to put money in. Get a load of money and uh, like gambling. Yeah, run up loads of debts. Yeah, and digging, then digging for there, treasure. Dig for treasure. Spend more money than you have, and then when the debt collectors come and you go, well, I didn't find any treasure, and there's no money left in the company. Exactly. So, so they, 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 so it, they were digging here for fucking ever, right? They mm. started. I, I, do, I love talking about this. I love talking about this. They're, they're, but yeah, there's. Just keep the digging, fact that don't they? so many people went and fucking went and dug into it again and again, man, I just love. It just always reminds me of this. Uh, you, well, you'd think with like modern technology, they'd get some kind of like amazing metal detector, or like a radio scope, or something that just like scans and mm. goes, it's there. Uh, th exactly. So, but obviously, anyway, it's amazing. But I that, guess that, that people still, people still like are looking for it now. You know. People went and dug, like, m you know, seriously deep underneath this this hole. This poor hotel, this poor, ho this poor hole has been dug. This poor site's been dug over hundreds of times, you know, in the hopes that someone will find something under there. But no, yeah. there's, there's nothing there. But anyway. is it free game? Like, does no one own the land? Like, surely if you find it, you can't keep it. I think people have bought the do land. They, do they and, pay I mean, there's them? a whole story if you want to read it. You know, this poor, this poor guy came. Robert Restall... And his 18-year-old oh. son, he got overcome by carbon monoxide. Jeez. And then they flip in. Oh, my God. Restle, his son, Grace, and Hills all died. Oh, my God. That year, this, this other guy leased it and dug using a crane with a clam bucket. I mean, a lot of work's going into trying to find this money. It's a little bit like that guy who goes to that landfill site looking for his Bitcoin Coins. on the hard drive. <laughs> yeah. it's never, it's not, no one's ever going to find it. Never going to find it. No, because it was bollocks in the first place. But... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then people are now like selling oh. this thing for seven million dollars, you know, in the hope yeah. that someone will just like. What's it worth in today's money? Has someone worked it out? What two million dollars of, of of gold? Pirate money. Of pirate gold. How much? Do you, how much do you reckon they'll be? How much is a chest of gold? How much do you reckon? But there what is? is the treasure? Because if it's in all like old coins, then it's fucking worthless, isn't it? They're all out of like. Doesn't matter. Tender. Doesn't matter because it doesn't matter because old coins were made of gold. But what if they're in that weird stage where it's like they weren't? Because at some point they, they stopped making them out of gold, didn't they? Nah. Nah, they never stopped making well, gold the, out of gold. No, not the Spanish doubloons and stuff, the Spanish galleons. So so gold weighs... Right. So a, let's say a pirate treasure chest, mm -hmm. uh, carting a chest of, chest of doubloons. Okay, so we're talking about two kilograms of gold, mm -hmm. which is... Oh, no, 2,000. That's too much. That's two tons of gold. That's, that's far too much. So you couldn't you couldn't fill the chest because it'd be too heavy problem to is, move. Problem is, gold's very very heavy. Yes. Um, so you couldn't be. It'd have you to be cannot small. fill that chest because yeah. lifting it would break the chest. Yeah. Exactly. So it would have to be. It would know. have to be a small amount in a smaller chest. But maybe you fill it up with like um, goblets. If and you've crowns. ever like held like a, a, a heavy ingot, like an ingot of lead in your hand, mm. it's fucking heavy. It's fucking heavy. It's really dense. Yeah. It's really really dense. So imagine mm. like. So how much do you think? Like maybe like. A, a I reckon a pirate chest, you just want like a sprinkling of coins 
and then some goblets and tiaras and bulky things to fill out the space. So how much do you think we could reasonably put into a chest? And how big do you think the chest might be? Well, how much do you think, chest? like, four people can carry? Because if you get everyone takes a corner, it has to be liftable, right? Or what's the point of putting it in a chest? I mean, this guy's saying, you know, working backwards, like, you know, a chest of... A very small chest, like 10 inches on a side. What with that? Kind of like a, tiny. like a mini chest. Like a, like it's a, like a little jewellery Like box. a little jewellery je chest. <laughs> right. But even that, look, that would be like $4 million, you know. If you could get 100 kilos of gold in there. So how much is an ingot? Well, like a Minecraft yeah. gold ingot. Gold ingot. Wait. What's a standard gold ingot? 12.4 kilos. So 12.4... So how many ingots do you reckon you'd have in a chest? Well... They're really fucking heavy, aren't they? Yeah, maybe like five, maybe like ten. Um, I don't know. This guy's already worked it out. Why are we working it out again? Well, I don't know. I just feel like... <laughs> you feel like he's wrong. Gold ingots are quite small, he says. How big are Steve. they? Yeah, but how big? That's... Let's see if they've got some, pit, some guy holding one. Uh, holding Banana for scale. Pit. Bana banana. Mm, I don't know. This seems a bit... So they're the size of a Game Boy. So there you go. There's one. That looks better, okay. right? So how many golden Game Boys can you put in a box? Yeah. Is that too big? Is this a joke one? Or is it more like this? This is weird. It is. <laughs> We've gone weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> well, there's that vending machine in Dubai, isn't there, that just spits out gold gold bars? A vending machine in Dubai. What are you talking about? Ven gold bar vending machine, Dubai. It's a thing. You can buy gold. Okay, we're live. This is a YouTube video of a guy buying gold from a vending machine in Dubai. Yeah, that's how rich they are in Dubai. They're just like, oh, I fancy some gold. I'm, I'm a bit peckish. <laughs> what does he mean? What is happening here? He's, he's feeding putting, actual he's money. He's feeding money into the vending machine and it's going to give him a tiny little gold bar. Gold for cash. Gold to go. When you don't have time to ring your broker, just put some is in your gonna, pocket. Is he going to open it up and show us? Yeah, he's going to have... It's like a little... It's, it's a little tiny! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that. It's like a little postage stamp. There you go. You could buy a postage stamp like what worth the, of gold. What the fuck is the point of that? So he paid... He paid 500 Arab dollars. Paid, he paid 500 Arab Emirates dirham, and he got... And that's about 136 US dollars. And gold was about 1,400, which is about the same as at it is at the moment. So so he he made he lost $20. 22, 24 In like transaction fees yeah, and yeah, packaging yeah. and... So he just chucked 30, 30 bucks away. But for that gold, you know, if he wants to pay for something worth a very specific amount with gold. But that's like, that's like me going and just going, can I turn this? It's as if I go to, like, go to a vending machine and say, give me change, but keep 10% of it. Yes. Because he's just turning his money into a, some money. Well, there's always transaction fees. It's like you're buying Bitcoin. You're always going to have to pay like 1% or whatever. Yeah, but to I don't do need trade. to go to a vending machine for a Bitcoin. Well, that's because... Like, surely if you did it through like a stockbroker or whatever, however you buy shit like that in real life. But you want like to hold the, the gold in your hand. Do you? Yeah, you want to like feel it. You want to eat, lick eat it. it and <laughs> shine it. If you bite it, it will... It will bend. Really? Bend, right? That's the whole point when they were biting those coins. It was to leave an yeah. impression, right? Well, that's I what I thought. Because so. gold is soft. Yeah. And it wouldn't... But if it was lead, it would give an impression too, right? Because lead's just as soft as gold. In fact, lead's softer... Yeah, so maybe you just gotta be and well, if you get put lead poisoning, maybe it's to bite. Maybe it's it. to bite the surface and see if it's just a paint. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Because if it was just a thin layer of lead, the gold surrounding lead, then you'd see like underneath. Yeah, and the flakes would come off, and you go ah, blah, blah, blah. eat the gold, lick it. All that flakes in your mouth, that'd be gross. Sorry, so there is a thing that we do that is we talk about the same thing over and over again because we forget. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a very common thing. I was watching the first episode of Colony Survival that went out yesterday. Oh, yeah. On the main channel. And there's a bit where Tom says, you know, I don't know what kind of crimes 
Couldn't be solved by guns. Guns are guns are great. Guns solve everything. What? What kind of crimes can't be solved by guns? And we're joking about it. Right. And anyway, we we stopped for like two weeks and recorded another session yesterday. Did you have the exact same conversation? The exact same fucking conversation. And I didn't even realise. <laughs> None of us did. No. <laughs> and so partly I think it's going to be, people are going to be, oh, they're referencing that conversation they had before. No, we're just crazy old men who forget shit. No, we're just, we're just forgetful assholes. <laughs> so, you know, there's going to, that's going to be pretty... <laughs> Shit, that's gonna have to get trimmed. <laughs> Tell Tom. About it's that. like a fucking. It's like a deja vu. Oh. A thorn. Yeah, it's just really common. We, it happens all the time, though. I think like there was a lot of um, people arguing in the Reddit thread about gun solving problems. Right. There was a, a. I know you guys were joking about it, but people were like, "Guns, guns do solve mass shootings," and then other people going, well, "I don't think they do." I, what, I mean, we. The joke I made yesterday was that like they solve. Childhood obesity. <laughs> Stop eating that cake, fatty! <laughs> that was the joke I made yesterday. Um, mm. But, I mean, I don't know if that will make it into the video now. Just, so I'm just throwing that out there as a bonus for you guys. Nice. Uh, a, a spoiler. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, mm. Anyway. My, did I make that joke previously? Maybe I've made that joke like 15 times and I'm just like a complete... Maybe I'm just getting old, Ben, and... and Hopeless. Cool. Oh, my nice. neck hurts. Oh, that's the trouble though, because so when you're having old. a conversation and playing a game at the same time, you just kind of like just say whatever comes into your head. Yeah. You don't vet it as much because no. you're distracted. No. That's that's where it all goes wrong. Steve, can can you get me? Um, could you request a, a some someone go out and buy me a sandwich, Steve, from from sandwich. All right. What kind of? Could I get like some vegetarian thing with no nuts and like I don't know. Cheese, falafel, something like that. Veg, salad, cheese, falafel, hummus. No, no, because they have a lot of nuts in. A simple, sa no nuts. Thank you, Steve. Sorry, I need to put that order in now because... Um, yeah, it'll take a while at this time of day. But Steve is going to have to... Oh, my cleaner's just texted. Oh, God. Loving the place. Really, really tidy. <laughs> Good job, um, though. It's so tidy <laughs> Finding it... Oh, okay. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. Does this mean we won't be able to put anything on stream while Steve's getting you a sandwich? I need to... Oh, shit, I need to drop off my cleaner's Christmas present. I forgot to oh, do that. Shit. So I guess she won't be in in next Tuesday. What, what's next Tuesday? Is that Christmas Eve? Um, I don't remember. Oh, well, she'll get it after Christmas then. Have you got any real Christmas presents? I need to get a couple more. I just sent... Yours, yours didn't turn up. I Amazoned it, like... Ten days ago. I it's not here yet. I haven't finished a bunch of mine, but I think I, if I just pop out to co-op and buy some bottles of alcohol, that will cover the people who I've forgotten about. Um, we need to find time to do that. But no, because it's the last week today, isn't it? Last last week uh, this week. Yeah. So I need to get all the presents. To you need point. to do it before Friday. Oh, I haven't got anything for my parents. Ooh. I don't know what to get them. But I'm going. I'm having to go down there on the train anyway, so I don't want to bring anything too heavy. No. That's awkward. You want something that's not like fragile or bulky. Um, I've got. Uh, I'll get them. Some, I'll get them a. Get them a little vending machine gold bar. Oh, what a perfect gift! Perfect gift. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> some people do eat gold. You do eat gold. You can eat it in like you can get it in vodka. Well, you stuff, get you get you? those drinks like the gold flakes, which just add nothing. There's to more the drink gold whatsoever. in human shit than there is in gold ore. Bam. Don't know if that's true. Fact. Don't know if that's true. There's more gold in mobile phones than there is in gold ore. That was yeah. the fact. There's quite a lot in phones. Um, gold in poop. That's why uh, all the all the young little Indian children have to trawl through all the rubbish to pick the gold out of phones. Flushing millions down the toilet. There we go. Instead of flushing millions down the toilet, humans could be mining their poop for gold. I told you it would be a thing. Wow. This cannot be a real thing. Yep. When a poop arrives... I like the way they're using poop here. As it doesn't feel very scientific. It doesn't, does it? For livescience.com. Uh, when poop <laughs> arrives, it's like written for a child. Uh, to yeah. water, wastewater treatment plant. Who's this fucking guy? Uh, it's separated into biosolids. Lovely. Mm. Um, inevitably, about half of the biosolids are sent to landfills or incinerated, while the other half is used as a fertilizer. But we could even get stuff out of them. Like, look, platinum, silver, and gold. 
Yeah, but surely just like a microscopic amount. Yeah, but, you know, it's like I watched this video about a place like a, that, that does um, gold refining and stuff. Hmm. And they have little special brushes on the outside or like the entrance, you have like a little airlock. Oh, yeah. And so when you walk through, you have to like brush all your feet on this special machine and mm -hmm. it collects like, you know, it's it's better. It's obviously efficient to have that machine and airlock there because it saves them... Save them dragon gold dust out of 100,000 pounds worth of gold dust every year or whatever. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like an actual thing. So think, yeah, but that is a building where they make, they do stuff with gold. Also, I watched, um, you know that Cody's Lab guy? No. Cody's Lab, he's the YouTuber. He um, He got banned on YouTube recently. Um, for God knows why, for no reason. But for, for pooping gold? No, I don't think so. Um, for no reason, or other than that, YouTube don't like this kind of original content. What? Anyway, well, they're, they're they're a bit stupid, aren't they? YouTube they just ban mm. people for no reason. They do. He, it's true. He looks. See, he goes. He does like metal refining and stuff. I, okay. watch, I watch his stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, it looks. Um, he went like onto a motorway mm. and like swept up a load of dust on the side of a motorway. Yeah. And then, because the, the motor, because cars all have these catalytic converters mm -hmm. in the exhaust, mm -hmm. which is basically tiny amounts. You know, the the carbon dioxide, the the, the waste gases are blown through to yeah, like a filter. Yeah, and it's catalysts like pl platinum, palladium, rhodium, oh. rare metals. So just the microscopic amounts in car exhausts of yeah. these precious metals, and it builds up on the side of the roads. Oh wow! So he went, swept it up, and made like a little bead of platinum. But did it pay off? Well, no, because a tiny little bead of platinum is like worth like fucking. A tenner, or right? Whatever. It's like not. It's not really. But if we could automate that somehow, yeah. Well, you'd think like, but again, it like it's like it's like trivial remediation stuff, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we I don't know how it's. We don't want to like have to sweep all the sides anyway. There you go. That's an interesting thing. You should check it out. It's good. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Don't don't copy him. Yeah, people are saying in chat, don't copy him. Why apparently. would you do that? Well, I guess it's like S Town, right? Like. You know, he just used mercury. Willy oh, is, nilly that, nilly. is that why he got banned? Because he was like, because kids were like drinking mercury and stuff. He is mental. Well, actually. yeah, because he's fiddling with mercury. He's probably gone mental. I right? mean, the thing that made me realize he was mental was that there was some video where he was getting like a beehive out of a school or whatever. Right. Out of a roof of a school. And he just fucking, just fucking got stung all over his face. Like Ooh. a nutcase. He was just, just. Why did he do that? He just got stung all over his face. He was like fully swollen up. It looked like the most painful thing in the world. And he was like loving it. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I knew he was just a madman. But yeah, wow. um, bees and go for it. Uh, Corey Bayliss has donated. Thank you, Corey. Uh, Ryan and a raptor says, I'm done with school now forever. Thank God. Well, there you go. Good job. Ryan and a raptor. Well done. Um, one of my friends mm -hmm. um, basically took took her last exams and was like, I'm never taking another exam again. And that was it. She, she, she was like, didn't want to go to uni, didn't want to go to college. She, she was really good at school, but yeah, just she was like, it. I'm done. I don't want to do any exams ever again. So, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. And do you know what? Like, I can understand that because, God, it's so stressful. Some people really don't like exams, though. I never yeah. found too much trouble with exams. No, I much preferred exams over um, Actually, over doing like coursework and understanding the, the stuff. stuff. Because I'm just really good at remembering things. So like the day before, I just like flick through the notes and go, "Okay, yeah, I got this." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is not what you should do. Don't but do that. Everyone's different. Um, Robert <coughs> Plain, thank you very much. And Dark Demon says, "I hope you get some more sleep, Lewis. I had a lot of sleep last night. I was I was good last night. I um I was good." Uh, Anonymous wants us to bring back Steve. Steve's, Steve's here. Steve's around. Army Steve. of Kittens has donated 55 bucks. Ooh, Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. We've got some facts now, Ben. Or at least people have started ch chipping in their stuff. So we've got mm. Ezekiel 42 says, While apple seeds might not be harmful to humans in small quantities, they can be extremely dangerous to your pets. Ah, so yeah. do not. A lot of things actually are, like raisins um, and sultanas. Really bad for dogs. Super toxic for dogs. Really? Like as well as chocolate. As well as chocolate. What do you give them for a treat? Uh, like dog stuff. Any, like literally <laughs> any food. Dog stuff. Well, you can get special dog stuff. You can get like dog chocolate that's safe. But uh. fuck it. Like just anything. Anything you look like you want to eat, 
the dog would be over the moon if he gets a piece of it. Right, okay. <laughs> like, they're not fussy. <laughs> right, okay. That's good advice. A little bit of bread. <laughs> be careful what to feed your, your dogs. Um, good, good advice, Ezekiel. Thank you. Uh, high Rollers. This is, this is a weird donation. This is from... Oh, yeah. Oh, is it actually the High Rollers guys? I think it might actually be from the High Rollers guys. So the oh, High Rollers man. donated 100 bucks. So Merry Christmas from Katie, Trot, Mark, Kim, Tom and Matt. Let's get to five million before the month oh, is over. Congrats. Oh, thank you very much, guys. I guess one of them, I don't know who donated then. It says Katie. Katie was first on the uh, list. So it's possibly Katie did it. Maybe she wanted the games. Maybe she just wanted to support us. Maybe she's watching and she yeah. wanted to get a shout out. No, but thank you, High Rollers, guys. Thank you, High Rollers. Yeah. Um, holy crap. I would have thought they'd do that on another day. From, from the team. We're, we're chipping away. We're mm. chipping away at five million. That's the dream, isn't it? It's oh, Katie. Thanks, we thought Katie. it might be you. See? I, Sherlock Holmes that yeah. didn't I she <laughs> you put did, herself you first because I would have assumed the exact opposite that whoever did it would have not put themselves first oh to like hide it well I think it, it's, t it's tough because it's not in alphabetical order mm. see what I mean but what order did you do in order of importance just do in order of appropriate well that's awkward isn't it because I, I, mean, I, I overthink I also that knew a lot Katie was because Trot was second and so she's sort of Katie uh, Trot and then yeah, yeah. I, I think I would have put Mark first because he's kind of like the, the, I don't you know the see, leader, uh, and then yeah. I don't I don't think it matters what order is that after. Anyway, thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Very generous. Hope they're paying. I hope they're all chipping in. Uh, there she is, little Noma. Yeah, ah, oh, it's nice. It's a good. It's a really good like online name. I like that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's good. Um, Jigsaw says hi, Lewis and Ben. Mm -hmm. You guys are my favorites. Looking forward to fighting oh. fantasy. I also listen to the Travels podcast. I can't, <laughs> I can't, you can't I, bring I yourself to say his, it. Uh, his words a bit. <laughs> uh, Tony donated a thousand bucks to the bundle. Mm -hmm. That is a a, 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 a wow, a Deca Hundo. It's ten Hundo. <laughs> Deca Hundo. Uh, I've recently started watching the Oz cast and have fallen in love with all the other members. Mm. Anyways, I'm enjoying the board game stuff especially and love watching Ben and Tom's Warhammer series. Did you manage to get oh your problem fixed for we the did. Warhammer? Yes. For some, did you work out what was wrong with it? I don't know. I came back and Tom had done it. They recorded um, a bunch of stuff and the, 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 the shadow play would not copy over. Yeah, the, the file, like the video file of Tom's footage just wouldn't get off the hard drive. It was like 16%. It was, it was like I had squatter's there. rights or something. How did you solve the problem? Off. I don't know. I, I went and did something else and did they, Tom did it. Because I think they were going to have just fraps or shadow play the shadow played recording. Yeah, that was originally the plan. But Tom had to put the video out that night. Oh. So I think maybe they just, um, he rendered it out on that machine into like... A different format. A different format. That makes sense. Don't know. There's always a solution. Um, P.S. Long live snack. Ah, oh, long live snack. What does that mean? Um, I have a snack in Warhammer. And right. It's very important to me. See, sometimes I read these references and I, I have sometimes I have to pretend to understand them. <laughs> right. And I have to make a decision on whether I'm going to, oh, yeah, I whether know Whether you're going to commit to it or as, not. As we've said on this stream, <laughs> we don't remember hardly anything. So <laughs> sometimes people come up to me and are like, oh, my God, I loved it when you did this. Yeah. Or you made this joke. And I was like... <laughs> Cool, I, I also remember that time <laughs> I made that joke and and I have to guess at the appropriate response or be like, Shit. oh. Or just give a super generic one. Yeah, and then they're like, you don't remember this, do you? And I'm like, no, I don't. Oh, so I wondered man. whether Long Live Snack was a reference to me, but no, it's to you no, and No, it's Tom's. my Hydra. I'm playing Dark Elves and they have the Hydra, which is like a snack monster. Right, you and only have the one. Snack. Well, I had one and then Tom killed it because he likes killing the things I like because that's how he has fun, like an asshole. <laughs> um, so then I decided in the, in the history, in like lore, if you chop off the Hydra's head, two it's, more take its, its like place. It's like a worm, yeah. And then you chop one of those off, and then two more take its place. So when Snake died, I had to make two more snacks. Right. And when one of those snacks died, two more snacks. Right. And um, you know how that, that can snowball quite quickly. Very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So now you're just I snacks. have quite a lot of snacks <laughs> now in one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully that's no spoilers. Because I guess you're quite... You're nearly at the end, right, aren't you, of your campaign? Uh, we're pretty close. Um, I don't know how up to date the videos are. Well, videos if, the, if, are. If, if he was using that footage for last night's video, surely well, that was a big session. We've probably got like, I don't know, I don't want to say, but okay. we're um, pretty close. Yeah, and me and Ben's uh, XCOM, but it's getting yeah. fairly close to conclusion as well. I think it is. Um, we're still doing that. We recorded about we we managed to record like an hour yesterday, like barely squeezed barely it managed in. in. Uh, Christopher Ramsoy says, uh, my history teacher from fourth grade just won the mm -hmm. Norwegian Cup in football. Wow. Alexander Melgavis. Let's oh, my look, God. Let's, let's look him up. This is, let's this, look him up. So now we're on to people's tenuous, dumb claims to fame. Yeah, tenuous celebrity links. 
Alexander Mel Gavis. If he has a Wikipedia page, he's famous. Oh, he does. Alexander Mel Gavis Andreasen. So he was, he's only 28, but he was your history teacher. That's weird, isn't it? How do you make the transition from school teacher to professional athlete? Well, I don't think the Norwegian like football squad is necessarily... It's not world class, is that what you're saying? Well, maybe like it's one of those smaller countries where people do have to have a real job. You know, they can't just go into football from an early age. You know. Oh, he won the Norwegian Cup. I think that means like their Premier League, not like he doesn't play for Norway. Oh, he plays for Lillestrøm. Yeah, Lillestrøm SK, Lillestrøm Sports Club. Oh man! So there you go. Your history teacher is is he a plays football. for the, the cup winning side. That's a good one. No, that's good. That's a great one. Uh, Chris Janssen. He, well, he's got a Wikipedia page. That means he's famous enough for this. Chris, that's, that's where we, if they don't appear on Wikipedia, they're not famous enough. No, and it's it like Steve count. is not on Wikipedia <laughs> yet, but by the end of the stream, maybe, maybe he will be. Uh, Chris Janssen is like Steve. I'm also the famous person, most famous person in my school because I've been in lots of gay porns. Wow, Chris, what a, thanks for letting us know. You're a hero. Uh, let's move on from that. <laughs> We're not looking it up. I believe I choose to believe you. <laughs> no, no proof required. Orion says Sophie Turner mm. from uh, Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, she went to my neighbouring school um, mm. in Warwick. So it's like a sister school, I guess. Like we had a we. I went to an all boys grammar school, mm -hmm. and across the road was the all girls. Yeah, we had one in college. So there was too. limited interaction <laughs> between the two. It's yeah. like this mysterious Hogwarts full of girls. Girls. We always, you know, it was good to know that they were there. Just, uh, oh, But man. yeah, Sophie Turner went to the one across the road. That, Do you think I don't think was, that counts. It was just a gender flip. Like, everyone in that school, you were like you were the boy versions of them and they were the girl versions of you. So somewhere there was like a Lucina. That wasn't your school. Yeah, I guess there was. They probably had like, yeah, like, like a forgetful guy, girl being like, you know, teased. And yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it was exactly the same. It's like a mirror. It's a complete mirror universe. Like, um, they had... Someone who was like that guy from The Inbetweeners as head girl. A.H. Kieran says, I'm 21, so no one I've went to school with has had much time to make anything of themselves yet. <laughs> but enough. Paula Radcliffe did go to my school when she was younger, and her oh. our sports centre is named after her. That's cool. Paula famously Radcliffe. pissed her pants, right? Famously famous for pissing her pants <laughs> yeah. while running. Okay, yeah. Because that's what you apparently do when you're like a super hardcore runner. You just you just power through. you got to run. Yeah, you run first, piss later. No, honestly, like, I think you see these runners like mm. just like when if you've ever done any long if you've ever done any like really intense physical stuff like that you'll know work. that your dignity goes out the window pretty quick well yeah you just you're like, you don't care you're red you're panting you're, like, you're sweaty you're just like Wah. you just want to get through it and if you need to need to take a shit on the side of the road or whatever you can just go ahead i think she actually shat herself i think she yeah, actually she's probably dead do i want to google that no 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 i don't i remember <laughs> it well uh, thank you, HQ. It's a good one. David says, most famous person I am slightly connected to would be Christian Bale. Oh, because you both ranted at each other like a maniac on set. Uh, we, we both... That's the only thing I can think about for um, So he's Bale. he's from a place called Haverford West. Yeah. In... In Wales. In Wales. He's a Welsh boy. So he's Welsh. He's a Welshman, Christian Bale. He's he a Welsh psychopath. Haverford West. There you go. In Pembrokeshire. In the Welsh... Welsh... Middle of Wales. Oh. oh, it's not there Middle is. Wales. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it is. It's pretty middle. Middle ish. Well, actually, no, it's not the Middle of Wales. It's, it's a, on the. It's oh, on this right, bit yeah, of course. Wales. It's, it's the, middle the middle of, of the last bit. Of the edgy, yeah. edgy bit, Pembrokeshire. Yeah, there you go. West Wales. Is that what it's called, Steve? West Wales. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but it's not really <laughs> like. I mean, it's the west of the. Mm. What's this bit then? <laughs> <laughs> Northwest Wales. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about, it's quite westerly. Um, it's just, this is southwest. It's not west. All right, fine, Steve. West Wales. Um, Zach Spock says, the most famous person from my school was a football player who got struck by lightning and died. Oh, jeez. Well, is he so famous you didn't even name check him? He didn't even name check. He doesn't even know his name. Uh, Zach Spock says, P.S. My middle name is really Spock. I think that's going to be a thing, right? I don't know a bunch of people have named their kids after things, like, or at least the dads mm. have. Like, oh, would it be funny to name our daughter Daenerys? Yeah. And the mum's like, no, she should must be called something normal, like Millie. <laughs> like, okay, I'll put Daenerys as her middle <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah. So I reckon 
<laughs> it's going to be a bunch of kids called weird Probably. stuff. Oh, but look, he's, he's Zach Spock. That's Fox's middle name. I think his surname is Quinto. Oh, it's Zachary Quinto. No. Zach, Zachary Spock Quinto. That's actually his middle he's name. He's so committed to the role. Um, Cameron says, a girl in my school sucked someone off in the middle of a McDonald's. <laughs> 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 that is how you get famous. I'm not sure if she doesn't know a Wikipedia she, page. She is a legend in that town. She is. Everyone's heard of her. She's for sucking someone off while they were having like their that, chicken That will go down in history as like the urban myth. She was having an egg McMuffin. For the next 50 years, people will go, that's the McDonald's where that girl sucked that guy off. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's Loazo. It says, love what you guys do and keep it up. Thank you. Uh, Sethani says, uh, love you guys. How, who know charity could be so much fun? No, I, I right. didn't. Uh, Toto Christensen says, when I was just a child, the mm. crown prince of Denmark Ooh. borrowed our toy scooter, which he found at our entrance, brought it to his apartment and cycled like brought it around to our it. Apartment. Brought it, sorry. He borrowed my toy scooter, brought it to our apartment, and cycled around in it one day when he was visiting his friend that we rented out to. Right. What? Oh my gosh, I don't Do know. Do you have a very posh house so that the, you rented out to so the friend of the Prince of Denmark? It was before the days of... Oh, Steve. Oh, he's brought me a sandwich. Oh. Sorry, Steve. I'm going to have a quick break after the stream. we got we got to run 10 minutes of ads in about 15 minutes, so I'll eat it then. Um, wow, he's actually brought me a sandwich. What a, what a lad. Wow, so, I'm yeah, jealous. Toto Christian says that the, crown, the then Crown Prince of Denmark stayed and rode a cycle around in his house. That's a pretty big deal. And then he lived next to Bono. Uh, oh, sounds like a high flyer. He lived next to Bono for a few days because his father from Ireland lived there. Way less impressive, though. I don't know. They're pretty good. Is yeah. this the Crown Prince of Denmark? This guy, Frederick. He's forty-nine. Maybe, maybe he doesn't look is, like maybe a scooter rider, a does he? Maybe this is a different. No, this must be him. Well, maybe. When did he become the Crown Prince? Maybe of he was like twenty-five when he was riding the scooter around. He just wanted a fun day, fun event. Who knows? Wow. Well, that's a tough one to beat. That is tough to Toto. beat. Toto. Toto. Crown Prince of Denmark, borrowed your toy scooter, ride a road on your apartment, and you live next to Bono for a few days. Big. That's big. That's a good one. It's a big one. Um, oh, speaking of big ones, David just do donated $350. He says, which I'm worried is so much to make me days. laugh. So here's some time to make you be pleased in return. Thank you very much, oh, David. Man. What a nice message. Three and a half hundred. That's a big one. That's a big one, man. Thank very you, David. generous. Oh, that's ten times the recommended donation, which is thirty-five dollars, <laughs> and it gets Just you close to the lethal dose of charity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucky says, "Been watching the Oscars for years and the Jingle Jam as well." Thank you, Lucky. El Baris shouts out, "Hi, hi, Lulu. Hi, da, hi. Uh, hi, Harry, Harry Bolzonia. That's a joke name. Uh, says, "Penis, penis, penis, penis." Penis, 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 penis. Eight penises. King Albsy says, I went to school with Gendry from Game of Thrones. Now, he oh. has a Wikipedia page. Um, the actor probably does, right? He is John Dempsey, this guy. Oh, the, he looks very different. He looks very nice, doesn't he? It's a little bit like Joe Thomas, and Joe Thomas is, 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 um, his, his, his profile pic. His, what's it called when they, the artist uh, actors get their, no, they get their headshots. Headshots, right. That's what it is, headshots. I think he looks better in Game of Thrones, to be honest. Do you think so? Yeah. He was in... Uh, looks like he's in a boy band there. Mm. He's been a few people. He's been a villain oh, in The Fades. The Fades. I don't know what that is. No. I mean, he hasn't had a great... I mean, peak Doing practice, right. doctors, Leave him alone. sweet medicine. He was in Skins. Was he in Skins? Apparently. There you go. He was on uh, the Doctor Who as well, apparently. That's um, like a rite of passage for British actors. Though, it right? is, isn't it? There you go. You've got to be on the bill and you've got to be on Dr. He's Henry. done all right for himself. Gendry. So he's on the main cast in season... Is he? season oh, in season three, he is. And yeah. seven. There you go. Gendry. Mm. He came back, didn't he, in Game he did. of Thrones? Spoilers. Briefly. Sort of. He's still around? I wasn't really or sure not. what, what was he's going dead. on with him. There you go. That's a good one. Thank you, King Albsy. Um, Bassett added five bucks to their donation to bring them up to a total of 230 bucks added to the bundle. Thank you, dude. You can add more to the bundle if you want. You don't have to. You can send us a message, though. Five bucks gets you a message. Dodo says, hello, Internet. Team Reunion Swampfen represent. Mm. I don't know what that means. No, me neither. But it must be something. Uh, Andrew says he's called GT Goonza on Twitch. He might be in chat right now. Nice. 
Uh, been watching for a while. First time donating. Thanks for all you do. Thank you very much. Blue Rose. Here we go. I know who this is. Blue Rose says, I was one year below Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Oh. Do you know Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Um, no, because he's a football man. And that is something I have no... I can't spell his name. It's this guy. No knowledge of. He looks a bit like Rio Ferdinand. He does, picture. doesn't he? Um, he's a Swedish professional footballer. God, look at his head. Look oh at this God. weird picture of him. He looks like it's a like potato. It's like it's been photoshopped. He, like, do you know what he looks neck? like? He looks like a Goomba out of the Mario Brothers film. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cruel. <laughs> what? He looks like... Because they looked hideous. He looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looks like. Wow. Just with a longer neck. Poor guy. Malmo. He's from Malmo, like Rhythian. Malmo. Yeah, he is. Malmo Plays Malmo. for Man U still. There you go. You went to school with him. There wow. you go. So it was really cool to see him get famous. That's awesome. That's cool. He's a big guy, isn't he? I think he's like really tall. Yeah, it's a 6'5 there. Yeah. He's a big yeah. boy. Big, big boy. It's good. Good being a big big boy striker. Because you can... You can run faster. Get over the one's head. legs. Head him down. Do the headers. Yeah. I, bet, I bet you he likes heading. He's a great header, probably. No. Well, you think that's what made his head so weird? <laughs> he just pushed his head down. He's got this big, Too many headers. neck, though, for heading. That's what it is. It's all. <laughs> he's built up his muscles. King's for it. Latin. Um, he's almost retired. Yeah, he's 36. Hudari Freeman says, Love the deals for charity. Wish I could contribute you, but every little bit helps. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark Chen. Mm -hmm. says, uh, sending you a little YouTube link so you can see a gold ingot used in delivery. Ooh. Okay. We'll have a Delivering quick look a at that. Um, it is. Oh, oh God, it was this. I remember this video that he's linked. This is that video. Mm. of There's a place in Japan where you can get the gold bar out Japan of a box. Japan, where cold bar in box. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> Perfect. Your search history is just so <laughs> fucking And weird. so basically, there's this, there's this place in Japan, right, yeah. where... There's a gold bar mm -hmm. in a box, right? right? But it's so heavy, you're only allowed to put one hand in there and get it out, right? Okay. And people, like, are trying to get it out. It'll but fit it, out of the hole. It looks like the hole's too small. The hole's the right size. It's, it's fine. But it's like... But your hand holding the bar is too big. It's a proper gold bar. So that's 125 kilos. So this gives you an impression of how heavy the gold bar Can is. Can you make so, it full screen? I can't so this see. poor guy is struggling to, to get the oh, gold he's bar doing out of the it. box. Oh my god! So he's like got his little tactics. He's resting it on his wrist. That's a good plan. Yeah. But now look, it's too small because his hands, his arms, so big. Yeah. So he has to get. But the point is that I don't think you can like hold it with your fingers. You're like not strong enough. But that to sounds. Hold it. it sounds physically impossible. Well, it, no, it's possible if you have very strong fingers, like Zlatan's neck. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. His neck is like trained. If you is someone going to do it? Like I, I'm going to be. I'm going to get some, blue. Some I'm going to get guy, golden blue balls if some someone guy, can't I do it. I think at the end, there's a whole crowd of people now coming. Oh, oh, no, he did it! Okay, no, 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 let's, let's see. Right, I want to so see him do it. Let's go back to the start of him. I want to see his whole process. You don't want to see the whole process, but basically, as you can see, he he wedges it a little bit. Yeah, he hole. like gets it up against he the glass. He gets it to the hole and then does a little technique. Oh, someone just tapped it back in there before he gets it out. How funny would that be? And they're all extremely <laughs> excited now. How much is it worth? Gold bar out. How much is 125? Well, I don't think he wins he, it. What? Well, no, because because it's way too That's much. That's bullshit. If you do the thing, you win the thing. That's like you you with the grabber machine. If you grab the phone out of the grabber machine, you get the phone. Look, one kilogram of gold is forty thousand dollars, right? So forty thousand times. Oh shit! Should I play it? <laughs> uh, times <laughs> one two five. That's five million dollars. Brilliant! Good for him. No, I, he I think, deserves I it. I think he only gets like a reward, like a prize, like a hundred pounds or something. It's not cool, man. He doesn't get five million dollars, does you he? You can't say he'd he be way more excited about it if he got five million dollars. <laughs> Do you know well, how, how much his hand hurts? Long. I mean, the quality of this is absolute cancer, isn't it? The video here quality is garbage. I'm sure there was a better one when I watched it, but yeah, there you go. Oh, maybe it isn't 125 kilos. Maybe it's 12.5. 12 12 because that's how much a that bar weighs. That makes weighed. a lot more sense. Because that's the standard bar weight, isn't okay. it? Okay, and then it's actually, divide that by 10. Okay, yeah. it's actually only $500,000. Okay, so that's like 300,000 pounds. Yeah, but even so, it's good, isn't it? 400,000 pounds. The old boy that works here, he was... <laughs> oh, is he the boss? He was like, oh no, someone did it. <laughs> Shit, it was meant to be rigged. There you go. You're not going to be able to really run off with that very easily, are you? Anyway, there we go. That we was, don't have to, because he won thing. it. Thank you, Mark Chen. Gaboni says, My school had Tolkien's son teaching classics. 
Um, and apparently Arthur Conan Doyle carved his name into a school desk when he was at school. Did you carve wow. your name into any school desks? All the time. Did you? That's what the compasses were for, right? What school did you go to? And Philip Morant. Let's have a look. It's okay to say this, right? Philip yeah. Morant. It's a shit school now, apparently, but school. back in the day, it was good school. Philip Morant School and College. There's a Wikipedia page. So if you go to Philip Morant School... Do you want to see school, the awful blazers we had to wear? So the motto used to be, hold fast to that which is good. Yeah, that was it. But now they've changed it to aspiration, success, kindness. Holy shit. Um, so they've, added, they've added a new house. What the fuck? But, well, hang on a second. Sorry, houses. Yeah, there's five, six houses. Mandela's not not a house. Oh, currently That's... there are five houses, and then it says and then it lists six. six. Well, good, because Mandela, not a house. Someone's just added Mandela in there. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't there when I was there. Look at that bottle green blazer. Isn't it awful? It's nice, isn't it? It's the worst. It's a cool it's a cool look. That looks like you modelled it, Ben. Yeah, it does look like me. Because actually. you're a generic man, aren't but he's, you? But he's wearing an Airwood tie, you see. Um, oh. I had a Churchill tie. Right. Uh, which was um, different lighter colors. green with yellow stripes. Cool. I like the idea that they had different... Um... You could just tell by looking at someone's tie which house they were in. So this was my school here. It's under the grammar school. School's in Essex. Of course, you went to school in Essex, didn't yeah. you? Same as me. I went to King Edward VI Grammar School, Chelmsford. Uh, there we go. That was my school. Quickwid Agas Sapiens Arge Fortita Ex Animoke. Whatever thy, what's this, whatsoever Whatever thy, thy hand, hand findeth to do... Do it with thy might. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, make sure you do it with your might. All your might. All of your might. <laughs> um, Boofield Road. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, Holland's Mild May Structing. Still four four schools. Uh, music, World Challenge, Flood League, Kegs Ambassador. Oh, God, I'm going to be on the notable oh, you four are, aren't you? Let's see it. Here we go. There what do I they am. say about you? Post-1960. Great. So there's Joe Thomas. See, he's on there. That's a funny way to phrase it, isn't it? MD and senior content producer. That is weird, weird isn't it? It's Surely very, just like founder would, would be better? Steve just looked up in horror as if he'd unplugged something. No, 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 Are we all still live, Steve? Yeah, we okay? Yeah, all right, cool. Believe, yeah. Thank you, Steve. Um, God, this is awkward, isn't it? So, yeah, my school. Your it's, school. It's my, am I listed on my school? Let's find out. Almost certainly not. Is anyone famous from my school? There's no one famous listed at all. Um... No, <laughs> no, literally no one. No one famous at all from your school. Maybe I am the most famous person from my school. <laughs> Where was this? Colchester. Uh, yeah. Philip Morant, school and college. Isn't there a grammar in Colchester? There is, yeah. I uh, chose not to go. I passed my 11 plus and then I went, oh, all the other kids going and nerds. I don't want to go. You didn't want to go to <laughs> Well, I didn't want to go to an school. all boys school and then Latin. I thought that, that sounds shit. Latin. It's great. Waste of time. Time, like, <laughs> yeah. hated it so much. I know, that's, that's what I thought. I thought I, c I can barely it do fucking French and German. Time. I don't want to do Latin as well. So I um I opted for the other. I one. almost went to uh, a different school. The Ferris was the, the other people on my bus. Where did I almost go? I almost went. It was probably changed name because everything changes their name. Yeah, they do all the time, don't they? They used to call me one called Headley Walter, which which was called which was known as Deadly Headley, but they um, changed. They changed the name. It's Colchester Grammar School on there. Yeah, the Royal Grammar School. Loads of my friends went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a swimming pool. And if you went to that school, you got a key and you could go and use the swimming pool. This was where I would have gone. St. Martin's School. Um, yeah, and there's, obviously there's Brentwood School as well, which was a private, um, which a few of my friends went to. Ooh. Yeah, independent. It's quite a nice school there. So I wonder if there's any ex-alumni here. Who we know. Probably. Oh, yeah, look at yeah, this. Notable schools. old Brentwood. Um, they're all MPs and lawyers, right? Yeah, these are Oh, all look at this. David Erning. Noted writer and Holocaust denier. <laughs> Perfect. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> Douglas Adams. Keith Allen went there. Um, Neville Chamberlain. Ooh. The inventor of snooker. This isn't the one who ran, oh, ran not, the country. not the... Uh, yeah. Noel Edmonds. Noted disc jockey. No, this was the, uh, the posh school. This is the posh school <laughs> that was around the corner from me that I didn't get into. And I couldn't afford the money for either. Um, so yeah, I went. I went and oh applied. Jody Marsh went there. Look at that. Uh, I went and applied, and but to try and get a scholarship mm -hmm. um, to pay for it. But I didn't, oh my god, Jody Marsh! Get, they didn't want me. <laughs> so her parents spent tens of thousands of pounds on the poshest school, and then she went and became a glamour model. Chris Jones went there. Must be so proud. All these famous people. See, this is an actual. See, this is what you get from a flipping posh school. Though, yeah, right? of course, you get set up for life, right? Oh god. Oh, there you go. Um, oh, that's obviously in there. Classic. Oh, classic. Uh, 
Under 20s coach for the English fencing team. Oh, God, anyway. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, my school had Tolkien son teaching classics. So, what, Latin and yeah. Greek and stuff. And Arthur Conan Doyle as well. Man, James cool. C., thank you. Elias Lundahl, Gujul. Michael says Greeks from Austria. Mm -hmm. uh, CC Dixon says for a very slight connection, Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Uh, uh, when from the, the stairway. When the Star Wars. In the new Star Wars, yeah. there's a scene, mm -hmm. this isn't a spoiler, no. where Adam Driver has his top off. Yes. And he has very chiseled pecs. He's a big boy now, isn't he? He's like this. He's like he, a man wall. He is completely shaved as well. And I was sitting next to a, a girl yeah. who will not be named. <laughs> yes. Uh, Katie. Did, did they, <laughs> did they if you're swoon? still in chat. No, no, it wasn't Katie. Um, <laughs> it was, it, they, they, they were like, <laughs> they, they properly learnt, went, went funny and I was like <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's a he's a funny guy isn't he like um, Adam Driver because sometimes he's just funny looking and sometimes he, he he's not sometimes he's funny I mean? looking he's got sometimes he looks like he's got big ears he's got like one of those faces where like depending on the angle and the shot like he either looks like very handsome or very weird yeah it's, it's a, he's, a, he's an odd one. So he attended a local high school in the same area and went to the same university as my drama teacher oh um, there you go well, there you go uh, Bobby Wright says, I used to be on top of Google for having a stage four neuroblastoma. Oh, my gosh. So he was famous for having a, what a, is a, a brain tumor. What is a stage four neuroblastoma? It is a uh, a big, a big, a rare cancer that affects children. So, oh, yeah, it's horrid. a big old, um, big old nerve cancer. So he used to be on top of Google for it. But luckily, he's not anymore. And hopefully you're, you're OK, uh, Bobby Wright. Uh, I do have some signed pictures from John Travolta and Jeremy Ooh. Clarkson, though. What a, what a combo! I like to think they're the same picture. John, can you make them kiss? <laughs> no, it's one photo. It's John Travolta, Travolta and, and Clarkson, Clarkson together, both signed. Just <laughs> arm around each other. <laughs> Classic friends. What a weird one. Yeah. Someone keep, some people do send us random signed pictures. Like someone sent me a signed picture of the Chuckle Brothers <laughs> and stuff like this. You wow. know, I think... Um, it's just a thing. That is a thing. Thank you very much. Um, Bassett says, I uh, went to school with Martin in the Littlewood. No oh, way. Oh, shit. Best claim to fame. That's a good one. That's a good one. Xander of Britain says, uh, the prodigy from Braintree, Essex, my hometown. Mm. And a guy I knew at school says his uncle burnt down a field with Keith, Keith Flint. But he was <laughs> always full of shit. So this Well, I think he would have come up with a better lie if he was going to lie. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I mean, the prodigy. I know the prodigy. He owns the pub, doesn't he? Oh, he owns a few pubs. Um, I'm, I, I remember okay. going to the prodigy. Yeah, the, the fleshy leather bottle. This is around the corner from my the guys. Oh right. Yeah, he owns the leather bottle. I, I used to go here with my dad. The, the leather bottle to fleshy. Yeah, look, it's um, it's here in in England. Deepest darkest in Essex. Deepest darkest Essex. Yeah, here you go, Chelmsford. Right. So this is where I went to school. This is where where my parents and I am going home to for Christmas. It's and been, um, oh. this is where my friend used to live. Oh man! And I, my other friend. It's so weird. Here. Like I was literally just up the road in the same same school year as you. You were here. Where did you live? Where did you grow up? Uh, in the middle. In the middle of Colchester. Like, literally in the yeah, my yeah. nan used to live here, so I, you, I always drive up this way to see my nan every weekend. Uh, what a weird small world. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, yeah, nice place. I used to, I used to, I went to, well, I originally wasn't in Chipping on Crow, I was originally in Doddinghurst when I grew up, which is smaller and here. Um, and I used to go to school in Doddinghurst, and then I went to school wow, in Chipping like for a, a bit. country boy out in the green fields. And then moved to Chibonga, yeah. It's my, my hometown. Uh, thank you, Xander of Britain. Uh, Monty says, My great granddad played for England and Hull and has a wiki page. Stan Alexander. Bam, if he's got a wiki page, he's in. Monty Alexander, I guess, must be donating. So Stan Alexander, here he is. Oh, he's got a very small wiki page. Well, more than I've got. He played for England. Did he play for England? Doesn't say. Uh, oh, no, Bradford City. Brad Hull City, Bradford City, Millwall, Tottenham Hotspur, Accrington Stanley. Oh, Accrington Stanley used to be the best. Does he have any England caps, though? Doesn't look like it. I think he probably would have... He's, um, anyway, it looks like a good old Are you Stanley calling one. Monty a liar? Well, the thing is, what happens is people, family history gets exaggerated. It does. Right, it a really little does. bit. And he might have played for England, but he, I'm not sure he did. 
<laughs> wow. According to his Wikipedia page. This needs updating. But, Monty, you need to update your grandfather's Wikipedia page or your great grandfather's because, um, yeah, it's currently wrong. Uh, Kimberly Walsh from Girls Loud went to my school. It says Robo Bongo Cuckoo Cop. <laughs> Kimberly. Kim, Perfect. Kimberly Walsh. Uh, she's from Girls Aloud. Let's see what she looks okay. like. Which one is she? She's, oh, she's, she's that that's, one. That's a beautiful headshot of her. Well, they're all going to be hot, aren't they, from Girls Aloud? There's no way that that's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, BFFs with Cheryl, of course. Everyone knows her. So, that's a terrible claim to fame. Good one. Walter, <laughs> thank <laughs> it's you. Not a Better than some of the ones we've had. Captain Scoot, thank you. Uh, Lotus Agent says, I went to school with, who is this? Luca Zidane. I don't know who that is. If I don't he's know a, who they are. He's a sports sports guy. I've heard. This guy. Oh, wow. A Marseille, a Marseille French, French footballer. Uh, could you get this translated? Uh, mm. Honestly. Ah, uh, that's where I recognize the name from. Oh, his dad Zinedine Zidane. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Wow, he's, he's, it must be something. Uh, oh no, he's the the second feel son of uh, Zinedine Zidane. Right. Zinedine Zidane. I don't think he was that old, but maybe he is. He's forty five. Mm. So wow, he had a son. So he's got forty. He's forty five, and he's got a nineteen year old son. So what? He was 20, 20, 20, 25, 26 when he had him, and he's the second son. Mm. So yeah, he didn't mess around, did he? No, he got right in there. Yeah. Um, well, we better take a break because you need to eat sandwich. We've pretty much gone through all the donations fantasy. as well. Andreas, thank you. Roos, thank you. My school was produced. Fuck all. Uh, apart from a well, weird YouTuber. And a, and a very generous donor. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Killer and uh, Carl. At my school, Jose Gonzalez and Lale studied music. Uh, and as we said, once a vit feltare, always one. I don't know what that means. That's a donation. Thank you, Carl. Um, Sunny says, I was in the same homeroom. As Neil deGrasse Tyson's daughter. Mm. He also went to the same school uh, and spoke at my graduation. I got a selfie with him. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, black science guy. Fucking cool, man. That's a good one. I like that. So his title. Um, thank you to August and Aaron and Mr. Cake Fingers. Kieran, you've got to set up. Uh, we've got... Much we're going to do 10 minutes of ads. I'm going to eat a sandwich. Yeah. Um, we are going to... Throw some off his cam. Fancy. We'll put a little bit of a cam on Kieran so you guys can see him. And uh, so if you want to stay tuned for the next 10 minutes, there'll be all sorts of little cams going on. I'm not going to put a cam on me eating lunch, but maybe Steve will zoom in on my face uh, while I'm eating lunch. Who fucking knows? It's crossed. Thank you, everyone. Um, if you want to donate, uh, you can donate now because I will clear the donations up at 2 o'clock. We're actually just about, we've just about done everyone. Um, although, Tom, Super Sniper Mega, says my claim to fame is a toss-up between friends with Tom Daly and going to school with a certain Kieran... Ask you. <gasps> Tom, Super Sniper Magnus. He's one of you your, one school of your school boys. School boy friends. Do you know him? Kieran's shaking his head. He doesn't know you. Wow, that's a bit sad. Well, I mean, you didn't I use his real name. He might know him. You probably know him. Tom. I know, but I know a lot of Tom. Send him a text. Send Kieran a text. Send, send every Tom you know a text. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. If, you, if we've missed your little donations at the very end of the stream, sorry, but we'll be back. Um, we'll be back for, mm -hmm. for an, and um, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, be happy. Bye. See you soon.